My name is Skune Ona. I'm 15 years old. Starting this spring, I was going to be a new high school student. Well, at least that was the plan. I'm so screwed. I've got three years of nothing but dudes in school. You're getting off easy. I've got a one-hour commute to school. Oh, please. Everyone knows that school has lots of cute girls. Right, Skune? Uh, yeah, I think so. Dude, drop it! <laughs> well, it's really not that big of a deal flunking the entrance exams this year. Don't worry. You'll pass them next year. Yeah, that's right. Hang in there. You guys want to stop by the arcade? Sure, sounds good. The one that just opened? Yeah. Scooney! Scooney! Yeah, Mom, what is it? We've had wonderful <gasps> news! <laughs> yeah, your old man here just happened to run into someone today, and it turns out he was a lucky find. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Best dad ever! <laughs> so thanks to me, you now get to go to high school after all. You got this off the street? Oh, I'm so happy! Now he won't have to wait a year to try again! <laughs> hey, kid. Are you a new student at Yokai Academy? Uh, yeah. In that case, you better prepare yourself. That's one scary-ass school you're going to. What do you mean by that? Huh? Um, hi, Kyoko. How's it going? Fine. Listen, Skune. I talked to your mom. She said you were going to some school called Yokai Academy. Yeah, that's right. Well, since my favorite cousin's gonna be going there, I decided to do some research. And you should know... Hello? Kyoko? Are you there? It's like a completely different world here on the other side of the tunnel. Is that the school over there? I'd watch your back if I were you. Uh -huh. I should call Kyoko again. That's strange. I had a signal before we went through the tunnel. I hope I'm going the right way. Whatever that is, it's getting closer. Oh no, what the hell is following me? Just a bad. I didn't mean to! You bit me! 
Wait. Huh? It's not that bad. Are you going to Yokai too? Uh, yeah. It's my first year. That's great! This is mine too! Oh. So what do you know? I have to ask. Huh? What do you think about... Well, about vampires? It's a joke. It's gotta be. They're fine by me. I don't have a problem with vampires in the slightest. If you want to call yourself a vampire, more power to you. Uh, thank you! Well, if that's the case, maybe we could be friends. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Oh, fantastic! I was nervous because I didn't have any friends here yet. Oh, yeah, my name's Mocha Akashia, by the way. And mine's Skune Ono. I can't believe I get to go to school with a girl this cute. This is my lucky day. Well, good morning, students. If you're new here, welcome to Yokai Academy. My name is Shizuka Nekonome, and I'll be your teacher. Wow, the teacher seems really nice, too. I really lucked out. Well, I'm sure that everybody already knows this fact. But Yokai is an incredibly unique school, one that's exclusively for monsters. Yep. Sure, sure, monsters. But. <laughs> Currently, this planet is well under the control of humans. So, in order for monsters like you and I to survive, class, the only option that we have is to learn how to coexist with them. Whoa! Teacher! What? And that brings us to our first rule! Except in special circumstances, as long as you're on campus, you must always remain in your human form. Everybody got that? <laughs> rule number two! Never ever reveal your monster identity to another student. I'm sure you can see why. Everyone will follow these rules, right? <laughs> Bunch of boring rules. And you are. Aha, Sizokomia! If we do happen to spot a human, why not just eat it? That's what I would do anyway. He's gotta be joking! Well, now. There's no chance of that happening, because at this school, all the students and teachers are monsters. So, no exceptions, got it? You see, this school's enclosed in a giant secret barrier. But even if a human got through it somehow and wandered in here, they would be killed immediately! <laughs> Say whatever you want, but I swear I've been smelling a human this whole time. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, don't worry, it's all right. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Moka Akashia. Man, look at her, she is so hot. Totally, I think I'm in love with her. Akuna, it's you! I'm so glad we're in the same class! Is this a dream? It has to be. A school full of nothing but monsters? That makes no sense. Uh. I, I'm sorry! What the... Oh, you're silly! <laughs> She's strong. This cute girl is a real live vampire? Hey there, sexy. You said your name was Mocha Akashia, right? No, let him go! So tell me, what's a smoking hot chick like you doing making friends with a numbnuts like this guy? I mean, come on. Hey! 
forget about that punk ass and hang out with me instead, babe. No way! I prefer to hang out with nice people, thank you! Skune! Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Wow, that was pretty scary. Are you sure you're okay after that? Yeah, I'm alright. He was really strong, though. So that was monster power. Crazy strength. <laughs> oh, Tsukune, you're so funny! Back there you acted almost like you'd never seen a monster before. Well... So what kind of a monster are you anyway? Oh, wait, we're not supposed to reveal that to each other, are we? <laughs> Sorry, never mind, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> but I already know what you are, Mocha, since you told me that you're a vampire. Yeah, I know. But when I told you, I had no idea that was a rule here. You know, you don't look like a vampire very much. Well, not right now, but... Hmm? Look! <laughs> <laughs> look at what? No, I can't look there! <laughs> it's okay. Look at the rosary on my chest. If I were to take this off, I would change. I'd turn into my true form, a powerful and terrifying vampire, so... A real vampire? That's why I wear it, as a charm to seal my powers away. I can't even take it off myself. Oh. Well, that's okay. Even if you get a little scary sometimes, I'm sure you're still the same Mocha. Oh, I knew you'd understand! You're my first friend here! And also, I feel I should tell you that you're my first in another way too, Tsukune. In what way? Till now, all I'd ever had was tomato juice and transfusion bags. I've never sucked anyone's blood before yours today. Oh, it tasted so sweet. So rich. That feeling. I'll never forget it. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I have to go. See you later. Why'd he leave? This can't be happening. How could you be so cute and still be a vampire? But are we really that different? So her, and her too, and all of them? <laughs> I don't think this school's for me. kind of weird back there. I just... I think I should go to a human school. A human school? Why? Look, I really like you, Mocha, but I just can't stay here. No way! You can't go to a human school! You can't! <laughs> Mocha, please! I'm sorry. It's just that I really don't like humans very much. They can be cruel. I know, because I attended human schools all the way up through junior high. I know. I was lonely. Because humans, well, they don't believe in monsters. I felt so different. It was like I shouldn't even be there. That's all I ever thought about when I was there. But then you said you didn't mind if I was a vampire, Tsukune. And for the first time in my life, I didn't feel alone anymore. But still, what if I turned out to be one of those humans you hate so much? Would you still feel the same way about me? I'm a human. I'm sorry, but that's what I am. And the only reason I'm even here at all is because of a major mix-up. You're lying. You have to be. No human could have gotten in here. I should have known you'd look at me like that. It's really true, Tsukune. Just stay away from me! You hate humans, right? Don't you? Well, that's okay. I don't need you. I don't need monsters for friends anyway! Tsukune, <laughs> wait! <laughs> Where's 
the bus stop. This way. Scooney. So where do you think you're going? Stick around, babe. Sorry, but I'm busy now. <laughs> Jerk again. But if I go back, I'm still just a human. Damn. Come on, babe, what's the deal? I showed you my true form. Why don't you show me yours? Don't tell me a sexy little thing like you is shy. For one, it's against school rules. We're outside of school now, so that rule doesn't mean crap to me. What's with all this lovey-dovey shit? Please, you should get out of here. I know I'm weak. And nothing but a piece of human garbage to you. I don't care if you're a monster and I'm a human. That doesn't matter anymore, Mocha. Because I still want to be your friend. Oh, the yuppin's getting on my nerves! Even if you are a vampire, well, I still, I still like you, Mocha. My rosary, it came off. She looks different, and scary. That's not the same Mocha. She transformed. If I were to take this off, I would change. I'd turn into my true form, a powerful and terrifying vampire. So that's the true form of, of a vampire? Oh man, the tails, they're true. The red eyes, the silver hair. The overwhelming energy! She's an S-Class super monster! A real vampire! So then, I suppose the one who woke me up was you, huh? What the hell? What's wrong with me? I mean, she's only staring at me, but I can't stop shaking! No, this isn't right! Hey, pull it together, man, because if you took down a vampire... 
It's time for you to know your place. <laughs> Yes, ma'am, I'll remember that. So quick, please! It's like she's not even the same mocha that she was before. She's so strong. I wonder... Now, which one of them is the real mocha? the same, just like before. Huh. Oh, thank goodness! You're finally awake, Skune! <laughs> hey, are you alright? You aren't hurt anywhere, are you? What's happening? Did I dream all this? Oh, the bus. It doesn't come at different times, but different days? What, am I reading this right? The bus only comes here once a month? Mm-hmm. Didn't you know? Uh, oh, no. You're oh. bleeding. Here, let me help you. Oh. Oh. Dear Mom, Dad, and Kyoko, I know this letter won't reach you for a while because of the weird bus schedule, but I'm writing it anyway. My new school at Yokai Academy turned out to be an odd sort of place. To tell you the truth, I even considered leaving and heading home right away. However, I've decided to stick it out for a while longer to see how things go. You see, I've made a new friend. And, well, she likes my... <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but I just can't resist this smell. Uh, what do you mean? Sorry, Tsukune! <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, I'm still hanging in there. As it turns out, here in the dorms at Yokai Academy, students get their own rooms. That was a relief. For several reasons. I like a baby. Dude, you do realize that you're out of your human form, right? Oh, damn it. I must have transformed while I was sleeping. It looks like you did too, bud. What? Oh, crap. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yokai Academy is a school of monsters, by monsters, and for monsters. to take me back to the human world doesn't come for another month. Until then, I've got to make sure no one finds out I'm human. Dude, check it out. It's her. Oh yeah, that new student, Mocha. <laughs> She's so hot it should be illegal! <laughs> Good morning to you too, Mocha. Oh man, what the hell is that about? Goddamn Skuna guy. He doesn't look like much, but apparently he was tough enough to beat the crap out of that jerk size of Komia. Hey, the expository dialogue is my job. Wait. How did the story become that I beat him up? What's with you this morning? Come on. Let's go. Whoa. Hey, okay. Now she's holding his hand? Oh, the jealousy. Oh, the misery. Why I couldn't that be me? me? So, Tsukune, huh? I imagine you're feeling kind of lonely being surrounded by monsters. So if you ever need anything, just ask. I'll help however I can. Thank you. It freaked me out the other day when Mocha unleashed her scary vampire self. But this version of her is incredibly sweet. Tsukune. Mocha. Tsukune. See, I overslept and didn't have time for breakfast. Uh, oh, hold on, I've got you. What is it? I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't treat me like I'm your breakfast! Uh, I'm sorry. 
doesn't hurt all that much, and she doesn't leave a scar. But still, there's no getting around the fact that Mocha's a vampire. And what if that scary Mocha, the one from the other day, is actually the real Mocha? Between her and the other students, how am I gonna make it in this scary-ass place? <laughs> Are you okay? It just hit me. I'm so dizzy. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but would you mind giving me a hand, please? Oh, sure, of course. Will you be all right? <laughs> Is something wrong? Uh, no, nothing at all. <laughs> Let's get you to the nurse's office. Oh, thanks so much. Oh, I'm such a bad girl, but he smells so good. I just can't help myself. I should go apologize to him. I'm sorry to put you out like this, Scooney. Uh, don't worry about it. Wait, how do you know what my name is? Uh... Oh, don't be silly. We are in the same class, after all. Oh, really? We are? Yeah, of course. <coughs> you see? See? What am I supposed to be seeing? <laughs> She is really cute and all, but she's got to be a monster, too. Whoa, you okay? I'm so sorry. It's because of this weird condition I have with my body. Every now and then my breasts sort of cramp up. Your breasts? Yeah, you see? They just get all tight like they're being squeezed or something. It feels like they're gonna pop open. They get so swollen, and they get so tight. Don't you see how full they are? They... She's a monster just like everyone else around here. But monster or not, when something feels good, it feels good. Spune. Um, yes? Look into my eyes. Listen, my name is Kudamu, and I want you to be my friend. Oh, her eyes are beautiful. And there's also... Those ridiculously awesome moves of hers! Be your friend, sure, I'd love to be in your friends with you! That's scary! It's such a naughty boy! <laughs> it's like I can't control myself! <laughs> Scooney? What's going on? Who is that? Who am I? I'm in his class. We're friends now. Right, Stud Muffin? Right, we're in the same class, babe. I've lost control again! Well, we should get going, Scooney, because class is about to start. <laughs> wait up, Scooney! No, I don't want to wait for you. I'm tired of being used as a substitute for your breakfast. <laughs> Why did I just say those mean things to her? That's just awful to think she'd use you for breakfast. Let's go before she has you for lunch, too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Wait, no it's not! But Skune... Dean Koontz and Stephen King are just two recent examples, but there are scores of other authors who featured cats in their work. Lewis Carroll is another example of an author who recognizes... Miss Nikonome has a specialized interest in cats featured in literature. We That girl, I do recognize her. But what is she to Skune? Why did I say all that stuff to Mocha? I've got to talk to her after class and try to explain. <laughs> She's looking at me. I am so winning. This is a superb way of relating feline qualities to humans. Oh, look at that. I guess we're out of time. Well then, that'll be all for today, class.
Hey, Mocha? A vampire, huh? Well, that's what people are saying. So is it true? Dude, did you just see that? Yeah, they were totally white! What's even better? Look at some boobs on her! Damn, those are some fantastic tits! Those are amazing! See, I came here to make a declaration of war. A declaration of war? Yeah, that's right. I've got this big plan, but you keep getting in the way and messing it up, Mocha. What plan? Oh, let me explain. My plan is to turn all the boys in this school into my personal love play. And it's been working, thanks to my booby trap. Plenty of guys were falling into it. And why wouldn't they? I am a succubus, after all. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You shouldn't reveal your monster identity to me. It's against school rules. But... You came along, and all the stupid boys fell for you instead of me. Uh, I've had it with your man stealing. Wait, I didn't steal anyone, I swear. All yes, right, I think a cat fight's about to break out. Me! I've had enough. So the other day I vowed that I wouldn't lose to you anymore. Are those babes gonna fight? For our sakes, I really hope so. I knew I had to beat you and turn about fair play. And that's why I've stolen Skune away from you. That's stupid! Skune has nothing to do with this! Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you, Mocha. This'll be good. <laughs> Major catfight. Oh, baby. What, Skune? Listen, I want to talk to you about those things I said. <laughs> hey, Skune! I'm sorry, but I, I need to talk to Mocha right now. Love charm. <laughs> um, but... But now that I think about it, I guess I really don't have to. Skune, get away from her now! Uh, why would I do that? You have to believe me, she's dangerous! I think she's sweet. Hey, there's something I just noticed. Skune, he smells really good, doesn't he, Mocha? Yeah, almost like a human does. His blood must taste really good. That's the only reason why you hang around him, isn't it? So you can use him as a substitute for breakfast? That's not true! And I don't use him either! Yes, you do. The only reason you want to be my friend is because you want to suck my blood. God, it's just like this morning. Why do I keep saying stuff I don't mean? I see. All I am to you is a substitute for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Mocha. That's not true, Tsukune! to apologize to her. No, wait! <laughs> oh, you're feeling down in the dumps, aren't you? Well, don't worry. Your bosom buddy will make it all better. <laughs> Sorry, but we're starting to get into some scenes that might be a little too adults only. Whee! Skune, is she right? Am I only friends with you because I want to suck your blood? I just don't know what to think anymore. You don't have time to mope. Skune fell prey to the succubus magic. It's called Love Charm, and now she's got a meeting out of the palm of her hand. You're talking through my rosary? When a man is kissed by a succubus, he becomes her prisoner, and she'll proceed to suck the life out of him until he dies. Oh no! You must hurry. But hurry where? Tell me! Tell me! Skune, no! Kuro 
Samuel. Um... Don't move, okay? My heart. Yeah, mine too. It's beating incredibly fast right now. You'll be my first, you know. The first boy I've used this magic on. Please, Gune. Don't run away. I'm trapped. I can't get away. I told you this is my first time! You can't be so rough! Be more gentle with me, alright? Let's stop. I can't go through with this. Impossible. I'll try another charm. I said some terrible things to Mocha and can't leave things like this. Besides... You like her more than me. Huh? Don't you! Even though I've thrown myself at you! Truth is... I've even done stuff to you that embarrasses me! Sure. Now I'm really mad! I'm gonna take everything that Mocha likes and smash it all to pieces! Don't do it! Mocha, run! Get away! Go, before she recovers from that! Mocha, why'd you save me? That girl is a succubus. A strong one. She can bewitch men just by looking at them! So that's why I said those terrible things to you. <laughs> Skune, are you okay? Yeah. Excellent! Now I get to kill both of you at once. Those trees like they were butter. You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. If you were, I don't know what I would have done. But Mocha. If we don't do something quick, we're both gonna get killed. My rosary. Hurry, please pull it off. Damn, it's not budging. Oh no! But it came off the other day. <laughs> well, well, Mocha. I guess that stuff about me being a scary vamp was just talk. If you were a vampire, you could have fought me off. But since you're not, you and Scooney are gonna die. No! You can kill me, but please spare him! Are you seriously prepared to go that far? I mean, come on! All he is is your food! He's not! I'm not doing this because of his blood! It's because I care for him! He's the world to me! Scooney's the first friend I've ever had, and I'll gladly die for him! With all this stupid friend crap! There's only one use for men, and that's a slave! They're just playthings to bend to your will! I feel for Mocha the same way that she feels about me. So I'll gladly die for her as well! What's the deal with that light? In the sky, what's going on? When the rosary seal over her breast is removed, Mocha's innocent self vanishes, and her inner vampire awakens. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you one of those rare S-Class super monsters? Is this the true power of a vampire? Why don't you come down here and find out? What's wrong? You afraid you'll lose? Little Miss Succubus. You must be joking. I'm not gonna lose. No. I can't! I'm on a very important mission. The fate of my race is at stake. A very important mission? Right. The reason we succubi seduce men is so we can meet our destined one. My kind are few in number, so in order for our race to survive, we must carefully choose our destined one from a large pool of men that we've bewitched with our love charm. I'd almost done it, too. But you got in the way of that, Mocha! That's why I can't let you live! So that's it? That's why you picked a fight with me? Big mistake. <laughs> 
you're fast! And you're slow. Now you'll experience the power of an S-Class monster firsthand! <laughs> Showdown took a mere 76 seconds. Whee! I've got no guarantee of that. So to be safe, I'm going to tear them off. Your wings and your tail, that is. No, please, don't do that. I'm begging you. What do you think you're doing? Step aside. Is her vampire herself the real Mocha? Not only did this succubus bewitch you, she tried to kill you as well. I think she's had enough. Besides, you heard her. She didn't do what she did to be mean. And what makes you so sure? Well, cuz... Kuromu, deep down she seems like a nice person. Let's be friends with her, okay? You know, like you and I have become friends. Friends, you and I? Listen, Skune, you've got the wrong idea about me. I only rescued you so that your blood wouldn't get swiped from me. That was it. I'm not like the other Mocha, you know. So then, who's the... The rosary spoke to you? It's weird, huh? Maybe the seal's getting weaker or something. Really? She may not think it. But you're both my friends. I couldn't bear to be without either, Mocha. And you know what? If you guys want to suck my blood, it's fine by me. It's gonna... I want to apologize about yesterday. Mm. Mocha. How'd we go from bouncing boobs to this crap? Wee! <laughs> Hi, Scooter. I baked some cute little cookies for us. How about you and I eat them together? Wait, why are you asking me? Oh, come on. I already told you that I was looking for my one and only destined partner for life, didn't I? Mm, yeah. Well, I've decided that it's you. <laughs> It's all your fault since you risked your life to protect me the way that you did. Now I'm totally in love with you. Well, they do smell good. Okay. They're real yummy like me. <laughs> Stop it! Skune is mine and mine alone! <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, I hope this finds you well. I'm here at Yokai Academy. It's just like any normal human school. We still have stupid exams, but for some reason, they happen earlier here, so I wasn't exactly prepared. Check it out, guys! I came in 201st! I'm 222nd! All right, I'll do this! Oh, man, I'm so jealous I can't stand it! Oh, well, I suppose it could have been worse. But compared to her... She's so much smarter, it's ridiculous! Mocha sure is something. Not only is she smart, she's the hottest girl I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, she's got brains and beauty, huh? Scooby! Wow, Mocha, you're so smart. <laughs> oh, it was just a fluke. Hey, maybe next time if you want, we could, um... We could what? You and I could study together if you'd like to. <sighs> Thanks, Mocha. That sounds really great. <laughs> oh, Mocha. That's Congratulations are in order, Yukari. It's the guys from my class! As expected, you're the undisputed number one student this year. 
I guess somebody knew what they were doing when they let you skip all those grades, huh? But you hear this. Don't press your luck or you're gonna pay the price. Press my luck? Yeah, that's right! For example, that stupid witch costume of yours! <laughs> it's against school rules. You'd better take it off. Yeah, but this is my... As your class president, the fact that you're even here is enough to give me a headache, so spare me the sob story. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, stop it! Who the hell are you? Back off! You shouldn't go around hitting girls! Oh, God. What the? They're from class two. What the hell's going on over there? What do you say we leave it at this for the time being? Come on, guys, let's go. Disgusting witch. I swear, just being in the same class as one of your filthy kind is enough to make me want to puke all over the place. <sighs> Thank you so much, Mocha. You really saved my neck back there. I should introduce myself. I'm Yukari Sendo. Yeah, I've heard of you. You're in the same grade as we are, but you're four years younger, right? Four years younger, huh? So wait, did you skip a few grades or something? Whoa! I guess that means you're, like, super smart, aren't you? And your outfit rocks! Well, that's very nice of you to say, but I'm not the impressive one. You're by far the most beautiful girl I've ever seen, Mocha. And you're kind-hearted and smart and cool. Uh -huh. huh? You see, I, uh, you should know... I love you more than life itself, Mocha! <laughs> Every time I pass you in the hall, I fall more and more in love with you. <laughs> Maybe from those jerks, I've decided that you're the one! Huh? What are you saying? What do you mean, the one? Well, duh! I want you to be my girlfriend! Your wife! Uh, I think, well, um, I can be a girl and a friend. Yippee! Oh, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, no kidding. I can tell. Yukari, could you? <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that your boobs are even bigger than they look? Look at her grabbing and squeezing Mocha's fun bags. It's just not fair! I'm flat as a pancake myself, so getting to squeeze ones like yours is a dream come true. Uh, Yukari, could you please let go? I'm starting to feel a little weak. No! Stop it! What are you doing? You're both girls! I knew you'd show up at some point. <laughs> Scooney, I don't know. Your grades are simply average. Your athletic ability is well below par. You have no useful skills at all. I couldn't imagine a more half-baked guy. Half-baked guy. Half-baked guy. Now you listen and you listen real good. I don't want my darling Mocha sullied by the likes of a creep like you. Creep like you. Creep like you. Control. Revealing your monster identity is definitely against school rules. Well, looks like you pushed your luck a little too far this time. You get Isendo? Ow, 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 ah, yeah, I swear, I really don't know what to do. Hey, what's the big idea, huh? Here we are in the very next episode, right after my big debut, and you guys can't get around to me any sooner than this! Who exactly is she talking to? We! I'm so sorry about that. It sounds like you've had a really rough experience, Skune. Uh, you have no idea. She won't even let me talk to Mocha. I mean, just look at the state I'm in. <gasps> Yahoo! That means it's just the two of us now. Way to go, Yukari! As far as that girl's concerned, I've heard some things. Really? What did you... <laughs> Supposedly, she's some sort of genius. But apparently, she's childish and bratty. 
And everybody in her class hates her guts. Uh, re really? She's probably really full of herself because she's so smart. You know how those brainiacs are. Skune, my most despised and hated rival, I'm gonna beat you so bad you'll never walk again! This is my voodoo doll! And it's got your name all over it! Just tuck this strand of Skune's hair inside, and... Pow! Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, are you alright? A guy like you doesn't deserve a pair of perfect breasts like Mocha's. <laughs> Might as well give it up and get grabby with Miss Titty Pie there instead. <sighs> Man, I didn't think I was ever going to lose her. <laughs> <laughs> It's, no, it's just not what you think. I can't control myself. Hey, what do you two think you're doing? You did it again. You used your love charm attack on him, didn't you? Oh, wait, oh. you know I wouldn't do that. Uh, uh, then what's going on? Yank. Uh, anymore. You guys have got to do something here. Well, she's not really bothering me that much. Relax. She's just a little kid. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, come on now. That's no excuse. She needs to understand she can't go around messing with people like that. I think it's about time she learned her lesson. I suppose you're right, but... Yukari, look. <gasps> if you keep this crap up, nobody's gonna like you, okay? And before long, you'll end up alone with no friends. Who cares? I'm a genius, all right? As far as I'm concerned, if people aren't at my level, then why the heck should I waste my time being friends with them anyway? Plus, huh? what's the big deal? I've been alone from the very beginning. Oh, you could eat that. <laughs> oh man, you totally fell for that one. <laughs> hey, calm down. You can't go around losing your temper with a little kid like that, okay? What about you? You need to stop hanging around with that brat! Yeah, but Skune... <laughs> you know, I heard that girl's a witch. What a pathetic loser. How did we get stuck with a girl like that in our class? And all that stupid cutesy talk? I mean, come on. Who the hell does she think she is? Yeah, well, it's not like she can help it. She is a witch, after all. <laughs> A snot-nosed kid like her is nothing more than a nuisance. <laughs> Besides, witches are closer to humans than they are to monsters anyway. <laughs> There's no reason for her to even be at this school. I know, right? <laughs> the only reason she makes good grades is because she uses magic. Who needs friends? I don't care. Well, I suppose compared to you, almost anyone could be considered a moron, couldn't they? The class president? Well, if it isn't Little Miss Rule Breaker. You've gone and made our president angry. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with you guys, so leave me alone! Oh, but it does. You see, whenever a student does something to disrupt class discipline, it's our responsibility to teach them a lesson. My point is, you're way too lenient when it comes to Yukari. But still, when you stop and think about how she must feel... If that's the way you look at it, think about my feelings, because I'm the one getting pummeled to death over here. Don't you get it? Look, you of all people know what it's like to be different. I know you do, Tsukune. No, that's not the same thing. Don't you understand? I won't abandon her! <sighs> she did say she didn't care if she was well-liked. I mean, let's be honest, that is so like a witch. Uh, wait, what do you mean by that? You mean you don't know? Look, witches are halfway between monsters and humans, but they're not really either one. A long time ago, people used to say witches were the link between monsters and human beings. Nowadays, they just think they're nothing but half-monsters. 
half monsters? They aren't exactly accepted by the humans either. Back in the day, things were pretty bad. They had witch trials and witch hunts. They've always been a hated people. She doesn't feel accepted by anyone. She's probably always felt like she's alone from the very beginning. That's just like me. Oh, come on! You're not alone! You've always got me, right? Hey, wait! Hey, what's your problem? It hurts! It hurts! It hurts! Why don't you go cry about it? Your voice is disgusting. Yep, disgusting is exactly right. It makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> These are lizard men, a subhuman yet highly intelligent species that look just like lizards. Whee! You're nothing but a disgusting, snot nosed, shrimp ass punk bitch! A thing like you doesn't belong here! I wish we didn't have her in our class. What's her deal, the dirty witch? Acting like she's all hot shit just because she's good at school and stuff. Why do they even let stupid little brats like her come to school here? <laughs> I know, right? It's like, you're a total pain in the ass. Why don't you just leave? <laughs> ah! Hey, what happened? I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> well, that ought to teach you. <laughs> it was that bitch. <laughs> mean this is why everyone hates you you dirty witch i don't even want to be liked by stupid girls like you so there what's wrong cat got your tongue magic wand attack magic wand attack, magic wand attack. oh shut your damn mouth It's something so terrible in my life. So what should we do with this one, huh? I say we eat her. There's plenty of fog. There's no way anyone would see us. Yeah, that's a good idea. She's a prepubescent little runt, but at least she'll take the taste of that wand out of my mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> Please help me! Get away from her right now! Uh, Look at you! <laughs> Well, well, look who it is. I just had a great idea, boss. How about we eat both of them? I second that motion. I gotta admit, this one looks pretty damn tasty, all plump and juicy, and most of all, she's got those, and this, and that. I'm fine, just get out of here. As far as monsters go, these guys are a joke. Trust me, I can handle them myself. You've gotta stop doing that, you goody. Don't act so tough. If you're scared, then there's nothing wrong with asking others for some help. You really should try being more honest with yourself. But I... There's no reason to push yourself so hard, Yukari. Why bite off more than you can chew? You're still a little girl, you know. I'm not pushing myself too hard. The truth is, you've been alone your whole life, right? If you feel lonely, and if you don't like being all alone, why don't you say so? I was the same, all alone, all by myself. You too, Mocha? That's why I'll never give up on you. It's why I want to help you and be there for you, Yukari, no matter what. Thank you, Mocha. What gives? Did they forget about us or something? Yeah, what are we? Chop liver? We won't stand for it. You understand me, fellas? We're not gonna put up with this crap, are we? I say it's high time we chow down on some of that yummy looking rock ghost. No! Ah, what? what the hell do you think you're doing, you miserable little brat? I'm sorry about before. I get how you feel. I know what it's like to be all alone, too. No, you liar! You don't know anything! <sighs> so come on. Please let me do what I can to help you, okay? All right, that's enough! 
This is getting ridiculous. For the last few minutes, it's been nothing but a bunch of sappy melodrama. It's time we step in and take care of these wins. Mr. Class President, you do the other girl. No, you got it. Good it. Look out. <laughs> Are you okay? Grubble! Oh, you guys are heavy. Thanks for helping us out back there. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for you, you know. Give me a break! Another do-gooder? This is getting annoying. What do you say we round them up and eat every last one of them? You want some? Bring it on! Scooney! You're... Oh yeah, Scooney! Will you be my protector too, pretty please? <laughs> It's time, boys, attack! Let's see! Dinner is served! <laughs> Lightning! What's happening? The giant blast of light! What is it? When the rosary seal over her breast is removed, Mocha's innocent self vanishes, and her inner vampire awakens. Get back, you filthy trash! Oh, this, is this Mocha's vampire form? Look! Her hair! Don't you know that getting your hair dyed is against school rules? That skirt is way too short, too! That's a clear violation! them out that easily. I can't see her. What the hell just happened? You're not worth my time. The only way you pathetic losers can wield any power is by ganging up on the weak. Having such strength is against our school rules! Know your place! This episode's fight was over in a mere 57 seconds! Whee! That was amazing. I guess we can always count on Mocha. But why? What do you mean? I was so bad and I did mean things to everybody. I don't get it. Why did you guys come and save me? <laughs> did you hear anything we said, Yukari? <laughs> we came to rescue you because we all want to be there for you no matter what. <sighs> you don't have to be alone anymore. From now on, we'll be right by your side. I heard she completely cleaned up her act after that. She got up in front of the whole class and apologized for the mean tricks she pulled. Everyone started to feel guilty for all the things they said about her. Little by little, they started to open up to her. That's really great. Oh, my Skune, I just love you to death! <laughs> you couldn't, what's up? Oh. Hey, guys! Our classes are right next to each other. I should come over and play sometime. Come over and play? Yeah, it'll be fun, because I already love you, Mocha, and now I fall madly in love with Skune, too! Isn't that great? <laughs> when I got pushed down by Skune that time, for some reason it made me feel like I wasn't a kid anymore. What I mean is, I want him to push me down over and over again. You no, know, I really don't think that's a good idea. Oh, no, you don't! Skune is mine, and don't you forget it! <laughs> hey, you let go of him, he's mine! Both of you are just wasting your breath. Dear Mom, Dad, and Cousin Kyoko, I hope all of you are doing well. Pretty soon, it'll be a whole month since I enrolled here at Yokai Academy. Time's really flown. I haven't had a chance to mail them, but I've written you a bunch of letters. There's so many piled up, in fact, that I've lost count. This school, well, it's a little... No, make that a lot weird. 
At first I was pretty unsure about this place, but I've managed to make some friends and actually, to be honest, I'm having a pretty good time. Even so, should I keep attending and hide the fact that I'm human? Okay. Well, now let's move on to the next page, shall we? Please read it out loud for us, Mr. Alno. Mr. Alno? Uh, what are you gonna do? Excuse me. Uh, what the hell am I supposed to do? It's simple. Just read this page out loud for us. Uh. What was wrong with you in class today, Skune? Uh, nothing. I just wasn't totally awake yet. Oh, okay, that's good to know. But look, if you're ever in trouble, you can come talk to me about anything. Because... you and I... Mocha? It's good, eh? Mocha, and that's gotta be why he was so spaced out in class this morning. I didn't suck too much from him yesterday. Yeah, right. You must have if he's acting this way. No, that's not the reason. Besides, Mocha's a vampire that drinks blood, so I don't mind meeting her needs. Oh, it's Kune. Oh, yeah? Well, I have needs, too. <laughs> Kiss him, Scooter will become your slave! It's kind of weird we're friends. Mocha being a vampire and Kurumu being a succubus, and me being a human. You're him, aren't you? Skune Aono, right? Yeah, and you're fed up with you! Why? It's because you're our number one enemy! Hold on, wait a second. Your enemy? You don't know why? Then allow us to explain. Formation set! Start! Gimme an M, gimme an O, gimme a K, gimme an A, and what does that spell? Mocha! I've got a cheer for the girl of my dreams too, pal! Kudu Kudu, she's my love! Touch her and you'll get a shove! Yeah! What? You! K! A! R! I! You can eat! Yay! I don't understand. Why are you guys cheering for the girls that way? Wait, don't tell me. Oh, we will. I'm the president of the Mocha Akashia fan club. Kozo Kasahara. And me. I'm the president of the unofficial Kurumu Kurano fan club, Basaburo Taira. And me. I'm president of Yukari Sendo's private fan club, Kubisaku Nagai. The three of us form... The Cute Girl Fan Club Coalition! I'm drunk as a skunk, we. That's nice, but I've got things to do. Hold it! The only thing you're gonna do is face our fearsome fan club rap! What a wuss! I know he's in human form right now, but this guy's a real crybaby! Yeah, like he was an actual human being or something! A pathetic do-nothing weakling like you isn't good enough to be friends with Mocha, you pantywaist! <laughs> Guys, some kind of weird trick. No, it's not a trick, it's magic! Hey, cut it out! You bunch of creeps, stop picking on Scooney right now or I'll kick your butt! Oh, yes, it's my love! Scooney! Are you alright? Look, it's my sweet Kurumu and my Mocha. Hey! What the hell are you jerks doing to Scooney? I'll tell you. All three of them ganked up on poor Scooney there and they were beating the stuffing out of him. Why? That's mean! I won't tolerate anyone picking on Scooney. Magic wand! Clean up! Whoa! Wait, no, it's okay now. That's enough! Oh, oh no, it's Kune! You poor thing! Guys, this is our chance. Right, but this isn't over. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm so sorry I hit you. Don't blame yourself. It was their fault. <laughs> if it's me you're worried about, don't be, because I'm fine. Oh man, 
How did taking out the trash become such a mess? If only I'd been a little stronger to begin with, then the girls wouldn't have had to have gotten involved. A pathetic do-nothing weakling like you isn't good enough to be friends with Mocha, you panty waste! Maybe that guy's right. Um, um, hello? I doubt anyone can hear me, but is anyone listening? If there is, well, what do you think I should do? I'm a human and a weakling and a panty waist, too. I rely on girls to protect me. Is it really in everyone's best interest that I stay at this school? standing between us and the loves of our lives is you, Tsukune Aono. So come tomorrow, we're gonna plant you right into the ground! <laughs> I wish this was the real Yugiri, not just a picture. If it was, I'd be kissing that gorgeous face of hers. <laughs> and I would do the same if this was the real Kuramu! Bam! If it wasn't for that parasite, Aono, we wouldn't be making out with photos of our goddesses, but with the real things, and this is why we have to take him out! If we do that, no, when we do that, you'll belong to me and nobody else, Mocha. <laughs> you'll be mine. Yeah, right, guys. Whee! Hey, have any of you noticed those three guys from the other day hanging around a lot? Uh, now that you mention it, I have. Wow, this EV equipment is so heavy. <laughs> hey, Cream! What the heck are you doing? Uh, just taking pictures of our ever-changing school. Uh, see, I'm in the photography club, so this is part of my duties. These photos are for the yearbook and not for my personal use at all. Me too. Let's see. I need vanilla extract, baking powder, and a bottle of liqueur. Great! <laughs> Yahoo! I really hope Skune's gonna like this. <laughs> stared at is way worse. I mean, I'd rather get my picture taken than have some pervert gawking at me like that. Yeah, me too. Well, either way, those guys give me the creeps. We can kick their asses if they try anything with us. But Skune is the real problem. So what do we do? Maybe we should talk to a teacher about all of this. There's no need. Instead, the three of us will be Skune's bodyguards. You girls? Mm-hmm. We'll not only protect you, but take them out at the same time. It'll be like killing two turds with one bone. Yahoo! I think what you meant was killing two birds with one stone. Thanks, but I'll be fine. No, you won't. If they attack you, you're gonna get the crap beaten out of you again. Uh-huh. You're just not strong enough. It's because you're a hu... Uh I'm sorry. What I meant to say is that it's... Because you're not that strong in your human form, but you probably are when you change into your monster form. I mean, I don't really know, but I'm sure you are. Right, yeah, and I've got to go. So, see ya. Wait up, Skune! Skune, please! I'm sorry. I almost spilled the beans about you being human, and for that I apologize. No, it's not that. It's that I'm really weak. I should be the one protecting all of you girls, but you're the ones protecting me. Skune. Maybe I should just... <clears throat> Sorry. No, wait! Skune!
up, speaking up, speaking up, speaking up. Oh. Where's he going? Skune, are you still mad at me? Mocha, come quick! Uh, Yukari, what is it? Just now, as I was sweeping up, Skune was walking away. It looked like he was leaving campus and he had this really serious look on his face. But that's not the only thing. He was also carrying a bag, too. Wait, he had a bag? <laughs> that new student. I wonder how he's been holding up. If Skune had a bag, that means that he's planning on leaving school. <gasps> 44 p.m. It's almost time. Well, Mocha? Where do you get off calling her Mocha? She's one of our sacred goddesses. So how dare you say her name so lightly, you punk? We don't know where you're planning on going, buddy, but you're off of school grounds now. That means the three of us can do this. Yeah! Umbrella! So, those are your monster forms? What was that? Wait, no! Even your dissonance now? Oh, damn it! Um, no, it's just that... It's just that we're pretty dorky-looking monsters, right? We know. And it sucks! The chicks at this school always go for the cool, flashy, badass monsters that go here. Looking like this, we don't stand a chance. And you! You don't even try, but somehow you still get girls! That's why we hate you! And why you're gonna die! Struggle all you want, but you won't squeeze your way out of this situation! <laughs> Not after you've rained on our parade by trying to steal the women we love! You'll never get to sit down and chew the fat with our darlings ever again! We won't stand by and let you take them away from us! Take your hands! It's them! Girls, um, question. Why do I always have to carry you two everywhere? I'm sorry, this is my fault. I can't remember what magic spells to use to make us fly. Guys, this stuff can wait. It's good I can't. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> See, and once again I got saved by you three girls. Moron! Why don't you get it, Skune? All of us, we're friends, aren't we? We're supposed to help each other. That's what friends do. You know that, so accept it. Yeah, but again, why am I the one always getting saved? That's not true at all! <laughs> no, just take me for example. You saved me through your kind words. It's the same with me too. You saved me from that other mocha. Yukari... Kurumo... See? Look! That makes us even. Yeah. <laughs> that guy! He's so mean! He's stealing all of our women! And he's doing it right in front of us too! He's hogging all the love. Skune Aldo, you're in violation of the Romance Antitrust Act. I'm gonna blob you into a blob even if it's the last thing I blobby do! Heads up, guys! You goody, my love. I'm gonna wrap myself so tight around that smoking hot little body of yours. You're a ripe fruit ready to blossom and I want to taste. Yeah. Oh, no, you Kurumu, I have an enormous abundance of love for you. So what say you and I gaze lovingly at each other, huh? Ugh. What am I supposed to look at? Your face? Because you don't have one, you big fat freak! Oh, Mocha, no matter how hard the rains fall, no matter how fierce the rays of the sun become, which, by the way, are the arch enemies of your lovely alabaster skin, I will be your umbrella of love! Oh, thanks, but I've got an umbrella. Ew, no, stop! That's not good. I've got to end this now. Hey, you three! You call yourselves a fan club, but all you really are is a bunch of creepy stalkers! You're pathetic! Wait, 
You're calling us pathetic? And not just that, but also ugly, no good, disgusting, pervert, monster trash, too? I didn't say that last part. You think that, though, right? Well, you won't have to look at us much longer, because we're gonna destroy you! Now it's time for the Fan Club Coalition Super Secret Angry Amalgam Attack! Amalgam! Amalgam! What the... holy crap! Not so pathetic now, are we? In fact, the only pathetic thing around here is you, Tiny! <laughs> I'm all right, but I have to protect all of you from that thing. No, you can't. Maybe not, but I have to try. What the? Guys, what just happened? Where'd that weird bright eye come from? When the rosary seal over her breast is removed, Mocha's innocent self vanishes and her inner vampire awakens. You three, you woke me? Look, those cold yet beautiful eyes! And that silky silvery hair. The friend, it's her! The one we've been waiting to worship all this time! Our true idol, the goddess who descended from the heavens above! We adore you, and we hope that you'll return our love! Never. Not even if you were the last amalgamated monster trio on Earth. Oh, such cold-hearted words, my goddess, yes. Thank you, ma'am. May we have another? Kurumu, Yukari. We love how you torture Yes, ma'am? The two of you have to help me out. Roger that. Take this, dark! Magic wand, let's rock! Whoopsie, oh no! Watch it or we're gonna fall! Now get lost, losers. Yes, ma'am. Of course. Right away. But she was the one. The one we've been waiting for. The true idol. From this day forward, we're now the Vampire Fan Club, K. Okay? Wow, what a long showdown! This episode's climactic fight came in at a whopping 80 seconds! Whee! Well, I guess I wound up getting saved by you again, huh, Mocha? Skune? Uh, yes, ma'am? Your leaving doesn't work for me. Because if you weren't around anymore, that would mean no more food for yours truly, now wouldn't it? And also, it would make her cry. The other Mocha, that is. It would break her heart. Uh, what? <laughs> Mocha not sinking her face into you would be a good thing. But still, you can't go. She's right, uh, Skune! Please don't leave! Uh, leave? I'm not leaving. What made you think I was? <sighs> but you had a packed bag! Yeah, and it's to carry all the letters I'm mailing to the other side. I came here to ask the bus driver if you wouldn't mind mailing them for me. Wait a minute, so then that whole business about you wanting to leave school? It wasn't real, but a matter of Mocha jumping to conclusions instead... So, if you don't mind, I'd really appreciate it, sir. Hmm. Sure, no problem, kid. I don't mind. That all you need? Yep. Keeping in touch with your folks is commendable. Take care. Where? You're so confusing. I don't want you to go anywhere, Tsukune. Please stay. I will. I'm gonna find a way to make myself strong enough to protect you and everyone else. I promise, Mocha. But until that day, it's time to say goodbye to this useless phone. You chose this path on your own makes it more worthwhile. But kid, you've picked a long and twisted one too. Hang in there. There were some construction delays that took a little longer than anticipated, but at long last class, I'm happy to announce that there's now a payphone in the campus store, one that will connect you to the human world. What?
Additionally, the bus that used to come here only once a month? Well, due to overwhelming demand, it will now be coming here once a day. Isn't that great, Skune? Okay. Skune. You smell good. Skune! But we're in the middle of class! Score this time. Here goes. I'm gonna dedicate this shot to Mocha! Yeah. And it's good! Motorcycle just missed that one! <sighs> Alright. Uh, are you really okay with this? You're sure? Yes. Uh, oh, I'm so happy. Mocha. Wow. Thank you so much. It's the first time you've ever offered to let me suck your blood. <laughs> it was delicious as always. Thank you, Tsukune. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> okay. I wonder if she has any idea why I do this for her. We'd better get a move on or we're gonna be late! Guess not. Oh, it's blood! It's so young! Okay, everyone! It's time for you to join a club! A club? And it's good! Motorcycle just missed that one! It's good. <laughs> the primary objective of this academy is to prepare our monsters to adapt to human society. Through participation in these clubs, you'll learn to act just like humans, appreciate arts they've developed, and deepen your understanding of the human culture. Now, in order for your transformation to the human form to be perfect, you have to have a firm grasp of humans themselves. And always remember this. You must never reveal your monster form, no matter what. Uh, um, excuse me. Yes? Your tail. <laughs> no! uh. Wow, there's a ton of different clubs to choose from, huh? Hey, I've got a good idea. Let's join the same club. <laughs> Come and take pictures of ghosts with us. Ah! Acupuncture club. Money ah! club. Ah! Make love potions with the chemistry club! <laughs> Mocha, drink this! Mine's better. Please, drink <laughs> oh, This is nuts. Doesn't the school have one normal club in it? Of course not! Please! My name's Tamal Ichinose. Come join me and my friends in the swimming club, guys. Chicks in bikinis! And every single one of them's a hottie! Hmm. The swimming club seems normal. At the moment, the swimming club doesn't have any boys. That means any fellas who join up now stand to get a lot of personalized service from us. <laughs> so what do you say, huh? Who wants to sign up? I think we found a winner, Mocha. I used to do soccer. I mean, I used to take swimming lessons at one point. Swimming's perfect. It's something I can impress Mocha with. Yeah, we should check it out. But, you see, I can't. Water is... <laughs> it doesn't look like your girlfriend's too interested. 
Why don't you join us anyway? Uh, I promise that I'll take real good care of you. What do you say? Um, I... We're both joining! Hmm. Oh man, would you look at the legs on those chicks? Don't waste your time on their legs. Look at their tits, bro. Always look at the tits. <laughs> But what about Mocha? Do you think she's gonna swim? We can't give up just yet. She'll take her shirt off. You just watch. Man, I can't wait. Uh, stupid schoolmate acting all flirty with her. Good. Okay. <laughs> That's the idea. Uh, excuse me. Something on your mind, Skune? Uh, don't you think you're way too close? What, am I making you uncomfortable? Huh? <laughs> oh, Skune, you're so cute. <laughs> Let's give this one more try. Just pull your arm back like this. Oh, so soft! Ah, that's enough! Mocha? Skune, you joined the swimming club so you could meet new girls, didn't you? No, wait, you don't understand! Oh no, don't you dare tell me I don't understand! I won't put up with this crap! Please, Mocha, just listen! Goodbye! Mocha, wait! You're like two little kids fighting. It's ridiculous. The only thing men and women really need from each other is to take and be taken. I'm sure you get my meaning. This is the swimming club, you know? If you're not going to swim, why don't you just leave? Go bother someone else. I've gotta get out of here! Whoa! Mocha, wait up! Mocha! Cutty is so cute. It was it's totally, totally worth the wait. So, uh, will you show me? Teach me how to swim, uh, please. Kodomo, you're up. You're up. Your breasts are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my breasts are kind of hurting right now. Okay. This is my chance. Today's the day I finally make Skune mine. It's my suit. I think it might be a little small or something. Skune! Uh, hey, I want you to teach me how to swim. There's no way I'm gonna let Kudumu have her way with him. You let him go! Skune's mine and that's that! Well, I didn't see your name written on him, so damn! Give him up, you flat chested yeah, twin! Yeah, so damn, wish I was him, you could eat Bigger so isn't always better. That's interesting, because when I was your age, mine were already about this size. So don't get your hopes up. Oh, oh don't you worry, I won't, because the bigger they are, the faster they sag! <laughs> You're trying to tell me my breasts are gonna start sagging? You crack, you better take that back right now! I don't take orders from you, Mr. Right. Scout! Cut it out! Shut your mouth and let us settle this thing! thing. I bet you don't even wear a bra yet, do you? What difference does that make you slut? Shut up, you! Shut up, Miss Titty Pie! You're just jealous because you look like a little boy! Mocha. Why'd you get so close to the pool? Getting wet like that, it's no wonder this happened. You know vampires are weak against water. In case you haven't picked up on it, water is a vampire's weakness. It hurts them because of its purifying power. Water reacts with a vampire's energy and... <laughs> That's why when Mocha needs water, she neutralizes it first by adding some herbs and then uses that to wash her face and stuff. Whee! This body of yours. It's also my body because I'm your other half. So don't push our luck. And don't let yourself get strung along by that jerk. Skune.
Surrounded by sunshine games and beautiful girls in bikinis, is this not what you wanted? Oh no, that's not it at all. Then how about you and I go for a swim? Uh, I don't know what's bothering you, but I'll make you forget it. Don't even think of going back to the swimming club. You want to go through all that again? End your relationship with the human. He doesn't understand a single thing about you. He doesn't give any thought to you or your needs. That's not true! He's not like that, not Skune! Even if you do go back there, you won't be able to swim with the others. You know that, don't you? I don't care. I... I just want... I want to be with Skune! Are you really this hung up on that mocha girl? Why don't you stop worrying about her and look at me instead, huh? But Missy Genose... Call me Tamao, would you? The truth is, I've had my eye on you since I first saw you at the opening ceremony for new students. Since then, I can't stop thinking about you. Listen, I'm so sorry about this, but I really need to leave now. I just have to go find Mocha. Not so fast. We have no intention of letting people leave. What's going on? Don't think too badly of us. We do lure innocent men to the water and suck their life force. But we are mermaids after all. It's sort of our thing. Quick monster fact! Mermaids are terrifying monsters whose very presence portends calamity at sea. Tales of these inauspicious creatures are well known among sailors. In some legends, they entice male seagoers with their alluring looks and then drag them, boats and all, down into the depths of the ocean. Whee! But... but Tomo! Didn't you hear me? I've been watching you since you first came here. I caught your scent. You have such an irresistibly delicious human-like smell. It's no fair hogging him for yourself. Let me have a taste. I want some too. Scooby! No! <laughs> Back off! If I were you, I'd move aside! What the? <laughs> It looks like the rumor was true all along. <laughs> Little Miss Mocha is a vampire. Water is a major weakness for vampires! We gotta do something right now! <laughs> Mocha, no! I won't let you go. Don't you get it? You're all mine now. You came back for me. You knew it would hurt you, but 
You still jumped in the water. seal over her breast is removed, Mocha's innocent self vanishes, and her inner vampire awakens. Now listen. You've been nothing but a giant pain in my ass. She's so powerful. I never expected this. But she's still a vampire. Drink this! Drink it, 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 yourself, you bitches! Take that! Look, I don't need your help. Come on, we're helping you because you're weak in water, so swallow your pride and deal with it. You look awful. You're sparking like crazy, and I imagine you're in quite a bit of pain right now. Stop pretending it doesn't hurt and admit you've lost. Don't flatter yourself, a pathetic minnow like you. I could beat you in my sleep. Minnow? You'll pay for that! Vampires are weak in water. But for a mermaid like me, being in the water is home territory. No way in hell you have a chance of winning here! <laughs> oh, you think so? Too slow! I can't believe you took the bait like that. That's just like a fish. <laughs> Die! No, you're... Blitz! Damn it! How could she defeat me so easily? This episode's big fight took a mere 85 seconds to complete. Whee! Well, she should have known. If a mermaid is in midair, that's not exactly home territory, is it? Stupid fish. Are you okay? Even with all their vampire strength unleashed, the water's still making Mocha really weak. You listen to me. You don't understand a single thing about her, so don't pretend like you do. You're a little boy who can't think of anyone but himself. Consider her feelings sometime. She was crying her eyes out. As it turns out, I was the one who didn't understand. in the water which makes them very dangerous the next day mocha didn't show up to class why they're scary now if their favorite food was fish and not the souls of men it might be a different story mocha i'm sorry I was wrong. Well, if you really want to be in it, then let's just join the swimming club. I won't be able to swim, of course, but at least I can cheer you on. You can't! What if you got water on you? Listen, I just don't want you to put yourself in any kind of danger for my sake, okay? Uh, no, I'm fine, really. Don't worry about me. Well, there's no way that we're joining the swimming club. There's no need to well, do in that. that case, what do you say to the newspaper club? Uh, newspaper club? Yep. Yeah. See, I'm the faculty advisor. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a perfect fit to me. <laughs> I finally got someone to sign up. You two hold on. You're not joining that club without me. Yeah, yeah, I want to be in it too. Uh, Woo, that makes four. This is totally awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the same club. 
Relationship's gonna deepen by being in the club together, and soon he'll be in love with me, and you'll just be an afterthought, Mocha. Did you guys hear that there's a peeping Tom on campus? Yeah, isn't it creepy? I can't even change clothes without looking over my shoulder. Me either. My clubs actually had to post a lookout whenever we change clothes. Good Jeez. idea. Let's get started. I'd like to welcome all of you to the Yokai Academy Newspaper Club. Uh, wait. Are we, uh, the only members? No, of course not, silly. Sorry I'm late. You see? There he is now. I apologize for being a little tardy, but there were some things I had to pick up. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Guigne Marioka, the club president. But please, just call me Guigne. Oh? I guess good things do come in small packages. Those flowers make you ladies look even lovelier than you already are. Anyway, Kinye here is the only other member of the newspaper club, and he's also a sophomore. Since he's the oldest, he'll be the club president. So if you have any questions about it, please direct them to him. <laughs> right, I'm here for all of you. <laughs> oh, the faculty meeting is about to start. Well, I'll leave the rest up to you, Gene. Sure, I got it covered. Let's get down to business. For starters, let me go ahead and explain what the newspaper club is all about. First and foremost, the club writes, edits, and publishes the school paper. When something happens on campus, we're there to report it, and we'll do anything for a story. That includes throwing ourselves in harm's way if need be. So you better prepare yourselves now, guys, because this club is not for the faint of heart. Wow, he sure sounds like a hard-hitting journalist committed to the truth. But of course, sometimes we just report on the normal stuff. With all that said, do any of you have any story ideas you want to share? I've got an idea. How about that peeping Tom? Peeping Tom? You haven't heard? There's this pervert that's been going around campus lately and peeping on girls. The freak's so quick that no one's been able to get a good description of him yet. A peeper's the worst of the worst. Yeah, that's for sure. This guy's got to be stopped. Then let's use the newspaper to stop him. Well, then the first thing we got to do for this story is find ourselves some informants. And how do we do that? Through the first rule of reporting. Hit the pavement and start asking questions. Your average citizen is your best resource. Um, Gein? Hmm? You're sure you want us to put the posters up this high? No, I want them higher than that. What? Did you say higher? Yeah, just a little bit more. Like this? How about this? Or even higher? I can help put up posters, too. Well, not till you get a little bigger, okay? You're just too small for this right now. Sometimes he's flippant and other times serious. I wonder what kind of guy Gein really is underneath it all. Huh? Is this high enough? Perfect. Just hold it right there. Hey, what are they doing? Mocha, Kurumu, you guys doing okay up there? I'm good. Kurumu? I'd be better if my boobs weren't in the way. He's totally checking out their panties! Gene, what the hell do you think you're doing? Cut it out! Huh? 
What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. You were totally looking up their skirts just then. <laughs> oh, please. Now, why would such a classy flower-bringing guy like myself stoop to such levels? Uh, hey, what's going on? Oh, nothing. It's just Skuna here. He said something or other about looking at your panties. Uh, what? Hey, you were looking at a first game! Look, it's true, I did see your panties, but that's only because I know... You're not buying it! Whee! Sorry! My hand came up like a reflex or something. If you ask me, he deserved that for peeping. If you really wanted to see my underwear, you could have just asked me, you know. Wait, I didn't mean to look at your sexy underwear! Mocha, wait a second, please. Skune, I hate perverts! Thanks a lot, Skune. Our club meeting's over for today, and it's all your fault. Focus! That's so gross. Was Skune really peeping? I feel so dirty. But which one... did I wear today? What are you doing? <laughs> Better be careful. For some reason, I get a dangerous vibe off of him. I have the feeling he's hiding some kind of really strong power. So you be extra careful around that bean, okay? Well, another gorgeous full moon tonight, huh? In fact, it's almost as gorgeous as you, my little mother. strike while the iron's hot, especially since now I know how to drive a wedge between Skune and Mocha. I hate perverts! Look, it was all just a big coincidence. I was passing by right when they looked out. Hmm. They don't buy it. <sighs> Why won't anyone believe me? Well, I for one believe you, Tsukune. Huh? Really? <laughs> yeah, I've got your back, bro. <sighs> Thank you, Gein. So what's bothering you? You're worried Mocha doesn't like you anymore, huh? Exactly. No matter what I say, she's completely convinced I'm a total perv. Hey, you see that? Climb up and take a peek. What for? To change things with Mocha. Why else? <laughs> Use that drum over there to climb on up. Dude, I don't have to tell you that Mocha's smoking hot. I was howling the first time I saw her. And I said to myself, I definitely want her to join my pack. Uh, wait, Dean, what are you talking about? Uh, what the hell? 
the girls' locker room. You know, no one likes a peeping Tom, Skune. Poor Mocha. What do you think she'll do when she gets an eyeful of you doing just that? I told you this was going to change things with Mocha. Uh, hey, you set me up, you scumbag! Look! That's he! Creep! Let's kick his ass! Hey, sicko! You're not getting away with this! You're the peeping Tom, huh? Fess up, you sleazeball! Uh, no, you got it all wrong. I'm not the peeper, I swear. Oh? Then what were you doing at the window? That sure looked like peeping to me. Uh, well, you see... Skune? Mocha! Is that true? You peeped on them? This is all just a big misunderstanding. Oh, I did look at them, but that's because... just confessed! No, not again. Oh, crap. Wait, Mocha! So then, then you are, are the peeper, peeper, aren't you? He even uh, admitted it! Uh, you filthy... Uh, what? Skune? Yeah, he was seen peeping in the girls' locker room. That's a big story on campus right now. But there's no way he'd do that. I agree! It's absurd! Skune leering at a girl other than me?! Uh, well, I'm sure there's a perfectly good reason for why he did it. What kind of reason? Well, that's what we in the newspaper club are gonna find out. What's up? What you doing up here? It's kind of late, but that sure is a gorgeous full moon tonight, isn't it? Oh, hey, Dean. just heard. About Skune, I mean. I gotta say, though, the guy really didn't look like the type to me. I guess it's true about some people having second natures hidden inside of them, isn't it? But, Dean... Hmm? Can it really be true that Skune's the peeping Tom? He can't. I totally get that you want to trust him. But come on, Mocha, a whole bunch of girls caught the dude in the act. But still... Mocha, look. You just need to forget about Skune. <laughs> Don't worry, I can help you do that. <laughs> you leave me no choice. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to do this, but oh well. I don't know who in the world took them, but these pictures have been floating all over campus. Skune? Oh, Mocha. They show a peeping Tom in action. I'm sorry, Mocha. But Skune is actually what you hate most. A dirty-minded pervert. But still, I want to trust him. I don't know why, but I have to. Mocha, come on. Aren't you just lying to yourself because of how you feel for him? Face facts, your pal's a pervert. Take another look. Skune's peeping. And not only that, he even moved a drum to the window so he could stand on it to get a better look. Pictures don't lie, Mocha. How do you know about him moving the drum? Well, that's easy. Just look at the pictures. I will, Gein. Hey, Mocha, take a closer look at these. Just what am I looking for? These shots only show Skune from the legs up. So how do we actually know that he's standing on a drum? Wow, you're right. Uh, cause I went there. Uh, after all the ruckus. Cause I'm such a news hound. That's how. See, that was actually the first time I'd ever been to that location. But I could tell right away that he had been using the drum to stand on. Oh, and how are you able to ascertain that it was Skune who moved the drum under the window? Simple. It's because those drums are never under the window like that. But didn't you just tell us that was the first time you'd been to that location? And if that's true, how would you know that those drums are never kept under the window? 
You were already familiar with this site, weren't you? And you knew that the drum had been used as a stand to peep into the window, too. Isn't that right? What's more, you were there when this was taken, too! <clears throat> well, come to think of it, maybe I have passed by there before and heard something about a peeper using a drum. But come on, even all that doesn't mean that I was ever at the actual scene of the crime. <laughs> no, that's exactly what it means, Guinea. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? After the incident at the locker room, those drums were removed by the girls because they wanted to prevent any possibility of a repeat performance. In other words, the only time those drums were actually at the site was immediately before and immediately after the incident. It would have been impossible for anyone who wasn't there to know about them. Furthermore, Dean, we managed to obtain several reports, all from reliable witnesses, who say that just prior to today's incident, they saw you moving the drums. So then that means... Right. The peeper is... You! Damn it, I wanted to do this the easy way. Oh well, I guess now I'm just gonna have to take you by force then. Sorry about this. Tonight's the brightest night of all. The full moon! And there's no one to beat a werewolf on the night of a full moon! Come on, Raider, try it! So this is a werewolf. Hope you're ready for an ass with me, because as long as the full moon's out, the only winner's gonna be me! Boca, no! What the hell, you blocked me? How did you... <clears throat> Wait, no, don't tell me! Oh, damn it, the stupid moon was behind all those stupid clouds, and if the moon's not out, then my powers don't come out either! <laughs> then again, it's not the end of the world. Even with no moon out, a werewolf still forced to be reckoned with. As you're about to find out firsthand! Now be my she-wolf, or I'm gonna have to hurt you! You hear me? You strange mutt. Do you really think you have what it takes to be with me? You should know your place! This episode 5 took a total of 112 seconds. Whee! Special edition! Hot off the presses! Who'd have guessed our first story would be all about proving that I'm not a peeping Tom? Crazy, huh? <laughs> Oh, 
Goku. Miss Goku is right. It's just I can't resist. Sorry. Kuruma? Here. Mr. Sato? Present. And Miss Shirayuki? Miss Shirayuki? Well, I guess she must be out again today. Wait, is that... I'm thrilled you decided to join us today. Moving on, then. Since we have a new student here, I guess introductions are in order. This is Mizore Shirayuki. Extenuating circumstances prevented her from attending class up till now. But everyone, please be nice and treat her like a friend. <laughs> All right, we'll buy snacks and head to the party. Hey, guess what? I've got a homemade treat with your name all over it. Oh, hey! Come on, don't you think you're getting a little close there? Ugh. Come on, let me go! Hold on! What's that? Hey, who's there? Hello. Oh, I remember you. You're Misere, right? So, what's up? Do you need something? I read your paper. As usual, your articles are the most entertaining one. You're familiar with my work? Mm. Even when I wasn't in school, Miss Nekonome always brought over issues of the Yokai Gazette for me to read. Of all the articles, the only ones I saved were yours. Oh, wow! Is that a fact? Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> you like? I scribbled in a bunch of my own comments and ideas. What the hell? Is she some kind of a stalker or something? <laughs> it's just that I like all the articles you write. You're always writing things from the point of view of the weak and the helpless, and I can really relate. <laughs> Your personality and the way you think about things is a lot like me and the way I think. Uh, uh, what are you doing? You must be lonely, just like me, huh? Trust me, I know exactly what that's like. Miss Nikonome. Oh, yes, hello there. Are you aware there's a girl in your class who's been refusing to attend school? I think her name is Mizore Shirayuki. I just got word she showed up for the first time. Uh, yes, Mr. Kotsubo, that's right. If I were you, I'd be very careful with that one. She hasn't attended a single class since she enrolled. It's only prudent to assume she's dealing with a very serious issue. On top of that, her school records indicate that as well as having a very unusual personality, she caused quite a few problems in junior high. At any rate, to assure she won't be a bad influence on the other students, we want to make sure you watch her and keep a tight rein on her at all times. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. Hey, did you see that, Skune? That last one skipped nine uh, times! Oh, hey. Uh, listen, Misere. I really better get going. See ya. You oh, can. Uh, Skune, you suck so bad at this, you haven't even gone above four skips. The rap party's already starting, and Mocha and the others are waiting for me. You want to go to that buddy-buddy club of yours, huh? huh? Mocha, your little girlfriend, she's the one you really want to see, right? If you don't stay, then there's really no telling what I might do to that poor girl. What are you saying? Isore. All you have to do is just be mine and mine alone. Okay? That's it. I wonder what's taking him so long. Skune! What are you doing here? Where's... Wait for him all day if you want to. He won't come. If you weren't always hanging around, Skune would have been mine a long time ago. Her hands... they're so cold! What's happening to me? Cut it out! Well, 
that was a nice try. But the me that you see here is nothing more than a puppet made of ice. I did a good job with her, don't you think? Sorry, but now it's time for you to die. You see, Monka? In order for me to get what I desire, you have to go. doing this I'm not going to let you get away from me what the hell are you you've really never seen a snow woman before I have the power to bend ice to my will and make it do whatever I want uh, uh, what's happening don't you understand it was faith that you and I met we were drawn together because we're both so terribly lonely I feel the connection between us I think you and I could understand each other embrace me and we can warm each other's frozen hearts no, stop! No, just relax. After I fully encase your body in ice, you won't be going anywhere ever again. Once I do that, you'll be mine and mine alone, won't you, Skune? <laughs> if she keeps this up for now... Skune! Just hold on! But how? My puppet killed you. Sorry to disappoint, but I swooped in and saved Mocha at the last minute. I made this secret love potion into a cake I made just for Skune, and now it's completely ruined thanks to you! You stay out of my way! Uh, hold on, we're going down! Skune! Uh, Mocha, are you okay? All of you trying to get in the way of the true love between Skune and myself? You all need to just disappear. Especially you, Miss Mocha. I've had enough. Just stop it! Stop this before it goes any further, please! Why do you stop me? You of all people, we share the same loneliness, why don't you... You're wrong! Because I'm not lonely at all! But Skune, you... Leave us be! So you're... You're rejecting me? You don't care about my feelings? Misery is gone. Where do you think she went? Oh no, the ice! Uh, be careful on the way home, girls. <laughs> but what should we do? I say we go shopping. <laughs> oh, yeah. I Damn, I'll tell you what, students these days develop way too friggin' fast. Crazy. Huh? <laughs> hey, you. What are you doing out here, huh? <laughs> oh, it's you. Man, my cake's ruined thanks to Frosty the Snow Skank. I know what you... Uh, ah wow, you guys really had a rough time, huh? I know things seem kind of dreary at the moment, but we did plan this rap party and... Uh, 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 <laughs> um, damn. Jeez, you guys, you're all like a bunch of old farts. Uh, I wonder what all the racket is about out there. Oh, thank goodness! You guys are still here! Yeah, what's going on? What's the matter? Did something happen? Yes, your classmate Misere has gone and gotten herself into a lot of trouble. <laughs> Misere did this? She went and froze Mr. Kotsubo? I'm afraid so. He was discovered right away, so his life isn't in danger or anything, but... Hey, wait a sec. Do you have some kind of proof that she actually did this? Proof? Who needs proof? When we found him, Mr. Kotsubo himself told us Misere was the one who did it. Miss Ridiko. She was a problem child from the get-go. We really should have expelled her from school a lot sooner. Yeah, but she... But what about Misere? Where is she? For now, the entire faculty is out combing the grounds for her. And of course, as soon as we find her, there's not a doubt in my mind she'll be expelled at once. It just doesn't make sense. 
Why would she go and do that to Mr. Kotsubo of all people? My guess is she went ballistic because Skune rejected her. Yeah, that's probably true, given her personality. I wouldn't put it past her. So it's my fault. Skune? This whole thing was my fault, if I hadn't been so blunt and emphatic about rejecting her. Please, that's a load of crap. There's no sense in blaming yourself for this. She did this, and she deserves whatever's coming to her. But still... Miss Nekonome! No? I'm going out to look for her on my own. What? No, you can't do that, Skune! But I have to. There was something I wanted to say to her back there that I didn't get to. I'm going. Skune, wait! Sorry to barge in, guys. <laughs> Whoa, man, what the hell's gotten into him anyway? He sure isn't a big hurry, huh? Wow, well, look who it is. What the heck are you doing here? Don't give me those dirty looks. I was out getting snapshots for an awesome new scoop. Snapshots for an, an awesome, awesome new, new scoop? scoop. Wait up! Kune, is that you? Listen to me! Mr. Kotsubo's okay! He's gonna pull through! Look, if you act now, everything will be okay. So just come back with me and apologize. Mizure, you got carried away and did it by accident, right? If you just show them that you're sorry, I'm pretty sure you won't get expelled. What's the matter? What is it? Misere. It's just too much, Skune. I thought it was you. I thought you were the one person in the world who understood me. But the real truth is, I was wrong. Nobody will ever understand who I really am. Nobody. Nobody will. No! There's been a terrible mistake! It turns out that Mizure didn't do anything wrong! We found out what happened from Gein's pictures! Here, look! What the hell? It's Mr. Kotsubo! He saw Mizure feeling all depressed and tried to take advantage of her! She was just trying to defend herself because he was molesting her! I had no idea. Man, I really wish I hadn't said all those things. I'm so sorry, Mizure! I should have given you the benefit of the doubt. Will you ever forgive me? Stay away! Stay away from me! Alone. Always alone. No one in this world will ever understand who I really am. I'm lonely. Not even Skune understood who I was. What's happening? What are these? The inner voices of her heart? Stop! No more! You can all just freeze to death for all I care! I'm not lonely at the moment, but that's only because I have so many fantastic friends right now. What's the point? How does that... Don't you see what I mean? Us two. We are friends, right? At least I want us to be, but if you die on me, it won't happen. He's lying. He doesn't want to be friends. It's just a trick to get on your good side. If he really wanted to be your friend, then... He would die with you. It's no use. I don't control them anymore. There's nothing I can do to stop them. Uh, don't worry. I'm coming for you. Uh, Mocha! Scooby!
illusory seal over her breast is removed, Mocha's innocent self vanishes, and her inner vampire awakens. You're in big trouble now. Get out of the way. Or would you rather die with him? All right, then die. You're nothing but puppets. The only thing that's gonna die here today is the lot of you. There's no way. How did she... They're from Mizore's monster energy. Mocha's energy is more powerful, so they blew up. Hey, thanks for the easy-to-follow explanation. It really helped. Please. Hey, you saved me. You called me out just for this? <laughs> Thanks, Mocha. I really do appreciate it. If you're looking for thanks, you might as well forget it. Listen up, Snow Woman. Don't go running your big mouth about dying until you've actually tried to live your life. Yeah, fair enough. But from the kick you gave me just now, I might die. This episode's big showdown, if you can even call it that, lasted a total of 86 seconds. Whee! Uh, uh, yep, you guys sure took a beating. But thanks to the four of you, it looks like Misere's gonna get off without being expelled. Isn't that wonderful? I <laughs> can't! Is it just me, or did it suddenly get really cold in here? Your hair's different. I decided to shorten it. Does it look okay? Oh, I think it looks super duper good on you. It feels kind of cheesy to say it, but I feel like I've been reborn. So I thought maybe I'd start with a brand new hairdo. Yeah, you look awesome. It makes you look really photogenic. Let's get a shot of you right now. That's right. Nice going on those pictures, Dean. I don't know how you managed to get them. Yeah, way to go. Those photos were a big help. Without them, we couldn't have proven Misere's innocent. <laughs> well, hey, you know me. I've always got my eyes peeled and my ears to the ground. I'm constantly trolling the campus in search of the perfect shot. Hey, what's this? Are these pictures for the newspaper or something? Uh, uh, you can't! Now, you guys. In the end, it all worked out pretty well, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep, it looks like you saved the day again, didn't you, Mocha? Cut it out. Now that that's over, I'm starting to feel thirsty again. But, hold on. No, wait a second. Now, let's take our formula for the area of a circle and use it to derive the surface area for this cone on the board, okay? Okay. I don't get it. I don't understand how to do this kind of math at all. Why don't we get an answer from Mr. Alno? Uh, yes, ma'am? Tell us how to do it. Solve this problem. Um, I don't know how. <laughs> what an idiot! <laughs> Bad boy, Tsukuni. You're supposed to listen to your teacher. Zone out again, and I'll give you a spanking. We're getting close to finals, you know, and you need to focus on those. <laughs> oh no! Crap! I forgot all about finals! And at the rate I'm going in this class, I'm gonna get an F and plus <laughs> out! What? You want me to tutor you in math? Exactly! It's taken all my energy just to get used to this school. And on top of that, with all these crazy mix-ups I keep getting dragged into, I've been way too distracted to study. <laughs> Please help me, Mocha. I'm begging you here. Okay, Tsukune. I just hope that I can be enough help. Really? Yeah. And since we're gonna do this, um, 
Will you come to my room tonight? Because we need a place to study. And if we do it in my room, I can help you with your math and anything else you might need help grasping. What the? Anything else? If I go into Mocha's room after hearing her say that, I won't get any studying done. I'll have a nervous breakdown instead. Skune, I'll do everything I can to help you. You will? Thank you. You can always count on me, Skune, because... Oh, I always count on you to let me suck your blood. <laughs> Again. Now wait just a minute! I've got something to say! Sine, cosine, tangent, I learned all that in math class. So I'm the one you should be studying with. No, don't listen to her! If you need a math study buddy, I know everything, Skune. Things like the cylindrical shell method, and stuff such as PV equals NRT. The final's coming up soon and you need help in math, so come on, what do you say? Speaking of hell... <laughs> I'm in the same boat because I've missed a lot of school. So is it okay if I study with you guys, too? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, I really appreciate the offers, but Mocha and I have already decided to study together. Although all of us studying together is a great idea. Huh? Well, shall we get out of here and start hitting the book? Yeah! You betcha! And this is a derivative, a measure of how a function changes as its input changes. It allows us to compute a line or plane tangent to that function at that point. In contrast, an integral, geometrically speaking, looks... Well, do you get it now? Yeah. Thanks to you, I do. You're a first-class tutor. Please, I am not. <laughs> well, it's great that you understand it now, but I still don't. Would you please be my special private math tutor, Skune? So... All of these derivatives and integrals, how exactly are they any different from addition and subtraction? Incredible. Huh? Wow, you must take the most thorough notes in the world, Mocha. They're easy to follow, your handwriting's great, and everything's organized by topic, too. Stop, you're embarrassing me. If you'd like, I'd be more than happy to copy a set by hand for you. Thanks. That's so incredibly kind of you, Mocha. But making a photocopy would be easier. Wait, I forgot the school probably doesn't have anything useful like that. Oh, I don't mind. You're my friend. Anything for you. Oh, Mocha. Skune. Oh, Mocha. Skune. Oh, Mocha. Skune. Oh, brother, not all this garbage again. We... Attention, the main school building will be closing in ten minutes. You know, it's been a really long time since I've studied for a test this hard. I'm beat. It was worth it if you learned something, though. Oh, Mr. Aono. Miss Hidiko. Why are you here so late? A club? Uh, um... No, Mocha and I were just finishing up a study session. A study session? Well, that's not good. I'm sorry to hear it. Huh? Well, it is good. You're putting in some effort. But when students get together to study, they spend more time goofing off than learning the material. But we didn't. We really studied. Skune was actually beginning to understand some... I doubt it. You're just a student, Miss Akashia. You're not a teacher. Though you may be good at schoolwork, teaching students is a task that is best left to professional educators. Skune! And that's why, tomorrow after class, you'll meet me in the tutoring room. You'll never forget the lessons I'll teach you. I'm looking forward to them. I can't wait. I bet you can't. It's the next day and it's tutoring time. Wee! Uh, well, I guess I better get going, guys. To get tutored by Miss Ririko, huh? I did talk to some older students who took math from her before. They said she's so crazy about teaching that she goes overboard with it. Yeah? Anything else? Well, there are two more problems. They just make me so angry. The boys won't stop staring at our tits! Oh, uh, really? Aw, <laughs> are you jealous that your own huge honkers aren't as massive as hers? You're acting like a child, Kurumu. Well, actually, Yukiri, the only child that's here is you. And the proof is you're flat as a pancake chest. I'd rather have mine than you big bigger. fat balloon! Oh, no, stop! Mine are big, but what makes them really nice is how squeezable they are, unlike yours. 
They're so superficial. Guys prefer mine because they offer quality over quantity and they're all wrapped up in a cute tiny package. Yeah, they're still flat as a board. You shut up, Miss Milk! What did you say, little Miss Flatty Flat Chest? Big one starts sagging. Come on, why don't you two just knock it off already? Hey, Peter, I know you're not really looking forward to these tutoring sessions, but it's still better than having to take makeup classes. Wolf is right! If you get a 50-year less in your final exam, then you flunk the subject and you have to take intensive makeup classes before they'll let you out for summer free! Wait! Scooby? Oh, man. I'd almost forgotten about that. Huh? Yeah! It's summer break, but finals are done! I'm gonna work hard and pass math. Then we can do something together for summer break, okay? All right. No, go to the beach with oh, me instead right. and we can play with some beach balls. Nah, uh He's gonna have a deliciously sweet summer romance with me, right, Scoonie? Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, have a snow cone with me as we watch the sun rise. Hello? Is anyone there? I'm Skune Aono from class 1-3 and was told to report here. Ugh! I've been expecting you, Skune. Holy crap! I, I mean, what are you doing dressed up in an outfit like that, Miss Riddiko? I just thought it might help you get up. The motivation to study harder. Are you not? The only thing it'll motivate me to do is to have crazy fantasies! This is just too weird! You're my teacher and I'm your student! I... Weird? I don't find this weird at all. But you're right, I am your teacher. And when it comes to an education, the teacher is the master who must be respected, while the student is the submissive who must obediently obey. Uh, uh, hold on, Miss Nidico, you're kind of scaring me. I can smell that. And you give off an incredibly luscious scent. It's almost like that of a human's. Uh, no! I mean, it must just be your imagination. Even so, you're the first student I've taught who's given off such a delightful scent. It makes teaching you all the more yummy for me. Oh, Let's get started, shall we? I should warn you that my private sessions are very intense. <laughs> <laughs> Tutoring session is helping you. You're just a student, Miss Akashia. You're not a teacher. Still, as far as what I can personally do to help you out, I guess this is about it. A tough game today. Are you guys ready for final exams yet? All of them except math. I'm not either, so please be my tutor. I'm gonna have to refuse. <laughs> you can't take me hostage! No! Tutor me in math and I'll let you go. I've just gotta pass that final. <gasps> oh, Skune. If we say that alpha equals the cosine of 120 degrees huh? plus 20 degrees, then alpha squared plus alpha plus one takes on the following value. Wait, I've heard of that. He's reciting mathematic formulas from memory. Huh? They're advanced ones that we haven't even covered in class yet. Awesome! So that tutoring's really paying off, huh? Teach me. You've got to so that I can pass. <laughs> Listen, I know what Miss Didico said about me not being a teacher, but still, I really wanted to do something to help you understand math better. Okay? So I copied all my notes and compiled them in this notebook for you. I know they're not much, but maybe they'd be helpful. What are you doing? Oh, well, I see you're trying to undermine me, aren't you? And trying to seduce Mr. Alno with this drivel? How dare you? I was just helping him study! You've got some nerve. It's obvious to me that Mr. Alno hasn't been able to focus on his studies because of you. 
Come on, Skune. Let's go study. Skune! Is that true? Skune can't study because of me? Is it really all my fault? <laughs> My private sessions with you have really made a difference, haven't they? Little by little, you've started to see how wonderful it is to study. Where's Malka? Still having impure thoughts, huh? Get on your hands and knees right now! <laughs> I love your sense. It gets me so worked up. It puts me in the mood for a night of red hot educating. Go on, study for me, baby. Do it harder. Do it like you mean it. Oh, say it. Don't stop screaming. You do it so good that I'm going to give you another one of my special sessions. So, here we go. I'll pump you full of learning again. Yes, I will. <laughs> So good. Keep it up for me, please. You want some more, don't you? It's okay. Go on. Suck in as much as you want. This is how I make it so you don't think about anything except for what you've learned studying with me. Estimate the probability distribution basis. Oh, yeah. Keep talking mathly to me, baby. Let's go! Miss Sidico, what are you doing to Port Skune? Miss Akashia, you're such a little pest. If you must know, we're in the middle of a learning session. And you won't get in my way again. Known from the annals of Greek mythology, this terrified monster has the torso of a human and the tail of a snake. And it's Miss Vidico's monster form. Elania, we! My whole reason for being in life is educating students. And if you think I'm gonna let you come between me and one of them, you've got another thing coming. Now, Skune, let's get back to our studying, shall we? You know you can trust me. Everything that we do here is for your own good. No, don't! You have to resist her! <sighs> See how strong the bond between teacher and student is, Miss Akashia? Oh, isn't it wonderful the things that education can do? What's going on here? What are you doing here? Since it looks like you've gotten all hot and bothered, I thought I should come here and cool you off. 
Go on, get Skune out of here. Druid slacker! I'm going to teach you a lesson that you'll never forget! Take that! How dare you attack me, you bad influence of a bitch! your notes for me, didn't you? And you did it by hand. That was so kind of you, and look, I've got them right here. Then both of you get educational guidance! When the rosary seal over her breast is removed, Mopis' innocent self vanishes, and her inner vampire awakens. You call what you do educational guidance? Don't make me laugh. What? How dare you? I'm a teacher! No, you're just a poor excuse for one. What did you say? All you are is a small-minded narcissist. You always hammer the importance of learning into others, so allow me to return the favor and teach you your place. <laughs> Well, did you learn anything? Yes, ma'am, and I appreciate the guidance that you've given me. This episode's big showdown only took a mere 31 seconds. Whee! What can I say? I just don't seem to know how to hold back. On the day of the math final, Skune's stressing out again. Whee! <laughs> Crap, I'm toast. All the knowledge Miss Ridico pumped into me is completely gone now. Good luck, Skune. <laughs> Well, how do you think you did on the final? I don't know. I did try my best, but still... Ah, well, regardless of what grade I get, I've got no regrets. Why? Well, because the best thing about it is that I got to study with you, Mocha, even if it was only for a few days. You never once gave up on me. You kept tutoring me right to the end, and those notes you gave me were a huge help, too. I'm really lucky to have someone like you in my life. I don't know what I'd do without you. You're the absolute best. I really mean that, Mocha, and thanks again. Hey, is something wrong? Good day. Ah, but I still have another final today! <sighs> and finally, our summer break began. Well, at least for most of us. <laughs> oh crap, now I have to take makeup class! And after all that tutoring I gave you... <laughs> The human world. We're almost there. sure seem excited. Oof. Yeah, no kidding. What's that all about, huh? You sound like a human. Uh, uh, do you know why? It's because he lived in the human world for so long. Yeah, right? Right? Uh, yeah, I suppose I feel sort of attached or something. <laughs> well, I guess that type of thing can happen. You're not afraid of the human world? No, not at all. 
Yokai Academy's way scarier, that's for sure. Wow! Scooter, you're incredible! You really think so? I sure do. Uh, ah! <laughs> Whoa! Mocha, are you okay? Oh, yeah. I just got a massive pile of sand at my swimsuit, that's all. <laughs> Oops. My bad. So, you're just comfortable here. Glad that's all it was. Because I was getting worried you might be a human or something. <laughs> oh, come on. That's just a bunch of crazy talk, Kudumu. Yeah, I know. Uh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> This boring topic and just have some fun, okay? I mean, it is summer break after all. So, what do you say? Yeah, I completely agree with Mocha. Well, you do have a point <gasps> there. Hey! Kudumu, stop stealing my balls! I was supposed Sorry. to be hurting you, You're so tiny, tiny I didn't see you there. Huh? That's enough! This means war! <sighs> hey. Oh, please. You don't really think I'm scared of you, do you? If you want some, bring it! <laughs> No problem. Here you go. I got it. Try this on for size. You got it now. You know, you're not supposed to use magic in the human world. <laughs> Oops, I guess I got carried away. Uh, can I help you with something? Those fish are raw. <laughs> to be completely honest, I like them better that way. <gasps> the ocean. It's so beautiful. <sighs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and get in the water. What do you say? You feel up for a swim? Uh, sorry, but I can't. Uh, I'm the one who should be apologizing here. I already knew vampires couldn't go in the water, but I... If you want to know more about this, go watch episode five, please! Go on without me, Skune. But no, I can't just... Go. It's fine. Hurry up, they're waiting for you. No way. Look, if this is where you're gonna be, I'm not going anywhere. No, please, don't worry about me at all. I mean, we've come all the way here to the beach. You should have as much fun as you can. I can't have any fun if you're not with me. <laughs> Do you really mean that? those up there wow look at all these sunflowers maybe it's for tourists but there's nobody else here yeah you're right but this place is so beautiful i wonder why hold on oh no how did we end up over here 
We should leave. Hey, come on. What's the big rush? Wait a sec. You haven't heard about this place, have you? Listen, if I'm right, this is the same hill people keep disappearing from. No way. For real? That's why I'm totally freaked out here. From what I heard, all the locals say this place is cursed by a witch. Apparently, she got mad about plans to develop this hill, so she started abducting people left and right. You're joking, right? Hurry up! Let's go! <laughs> Everybody around here calls this place Witch Hill. They say it's because the witch has lived here forever. Really? How come you know so much about it? You read it on some website? Around here, everyone knows about that story. <laughs> Hear that? Apparently your relatives go around abducting people. And apparently you believe everything you hear! I guess you're every bit as dim-witted as I thought you were, huh? Well, I know this. Witches get on my nerves. And I know I don't like succubi whose only redeeming feature is being a sex pot! <laughs> and what would a kid like you know about that? <laughs> you jerk! What the hell was that for? I just dropped a wash tub, that's all. You know that wasn't what I asked you! Come on, guys! You I swear, why can't you two learn to be civil with each other, huh? Come on, let's head back. Miss Nekonomi's probably worried. That girl. There's no doubt. I must hurry back home and report this to her ladyship right away. the rest of you, okay? Your teacher is gonna go out and procure some food for us. But we've got plenty of food to eat right here. No, no, no. Since we came all the way to the ocean, we should have fresh fish, don't you think? Oh, the fish they get in the human world is just the best, isn't it? <laughs> Miss Nekonome, is that the reason you wanted to take a trip to the human world? Yes, your ladyship. I understand perfectly. And as for that little witch, leave her to me. She'll join us or else. No! Not like that. It's all wrong. Oh, no, it looks all weird and stuff. Well, it's too late now. Do you want me to help you carry them? No, thanks. I think it might be a bit too heavy for you, Yukari. I can take care of it. Let me give you a hand. Oh, thanks. You really didn't have to do that. I could have gotten it. Aww. Hey, Molka, I can help you cut those up. Oh, well, that's nice. But I think I'm all right. I wouldn't want you cutting your fingers on the knife or anything like that. Why don't you sit over there and watch instead? No, you'll just get in my way. Those guys, it's not fair. They keep treating me like I'm a little kid. But I'm not a kid anymore. I'm big enough to do plenty of things myself. Hill, huh? What if a witch really lives here? Maybe she's like me. <laughs> Don't look so terrified of me, my little witch friend. Hi, I'm Ruby. I'm a witch who lives on this hill. A witch? Right. We're the same, you and I, Yukari. How do you know my name? You came up this afternoon. I've been watching you ever since then. Never once did I imagine I'd run into another witch. It's great. I want to ask you something. You see, I would really like to become your friend. If you want. You... you'd be my friend? <laughs> so we can then, right? Thank you! <laughs> Ruby, you... You and I are both witches. 
So we should be best friends. <laughs> My new friend. <laughs> Meow. There's just no substitute for the fish you get in the human world. Miss your tail. Meow. Uh, look, you guys, it's not what you think. I promise I was just going to count them. It's the truth. <laughs> hey, where'd you gonna go? so pretty, huh? It's really such a beautiful hillside. It's a shame those humans have been trying to tear it down for years. Yeah, that's right. I heard something about a development project. Yes, and that's exactly why I'm going to wipe out the humans. So will you help me out? I need you. Uh, I, uh, but it's just... I don't... Don't worry. All of the plans are already in place. All we have to do is carry out her ladyship's orders and everything will work out just fine. Ladyship? Yes, I'll show you. Come on. The three of us will live together on Witch Hill. It'll be great. Come. But I... Hey! Oh, Yukari, there you are. I'm glad I found you. When you disappeared on us, we all got really worried. I'm sorry. Hey, who's your friend? Oh, this is my... <laughs> So you still come and try and defile our lovely hillside, human scum! <laughs> Quick monster fact! These guys are a type of plant monster that will attack humans or animals and devour them! Whee! You got it all wrong! Sunei's not what you think! He didn't come here to defile your hillside! Just stay out of my way, you kitty! No, please! Don't do this! He's my friend! Now defile! world could possibly be stronger than the bond of kinship between witches. If there is something stronger, then I will destroy it. Chew her out later. For right now, we should get her back to the tent. Get on. Hey, Ruby. Listen, I've decided that I can't stay here with you. You see, I have friends that I care about. I'm sorry. Come on! Stop playing tough and let me carry you down on my back! No, I can walk. We witches are extremely good at healing ourselves, you know? I swear, you're just too proud to ask for help! Yeah, and you're too proud to say how you feel. Guess that's it. 
Yukari seems fine now, huh? Yeah, I'm really glad everyone's okay. You went out looking for Yukari, but then you didn't come back either, so I got really worried that something might have happened to you. I just... I will bring Yukiri home with me, no matter what it takes. Because it's my wish. And also, because her ladyship demands it. Ruby, you up? Where am I? Thirsty? We got you some tea if you want. Oh, and don't worry, everyone else already has one. If you think you can buy me off with tea, you've got another thing coming. That's not what we're doing. We just want to hear your story. You do? Yeah. Tell us about that hill. Okay. That hill's a place where witches have lived for a very long time. And we live there in peace together, never bothering or hurting anybody, just minding our own business. Well, at least until they came barging in on us. They destroyed everything in sight. They ripped the place to shreds, treating our home like it was nothing. Explain this to me! The human scum. Why should we trust them? What possible good could that do us now? We will never trust the humans ever again! Ruby... Please, Yukari. You of all people should understand what I'm saying. We witches called this place home. In order to keep that place safe, our only option is to destroy every last one of them. But I... I don't feel that way. But... We have no choice. We have to kill them! Come on. Do you really think it's okay to kill off everyone just to protect a hill? The only ones I kill are humans. Whether you're human or a monster, there's no difference in the value of someone's life. What's so wrong about killing humans? <laughs> so what if I kill them all? <laughs> Who cares about stupid humans? Isn't there something else? Some other way to go about it? A peaceful solution? No way. There's no other alternative for us. Her ladyship will bring retribution. Wait, her ladyship? Come on, you can't be serious. That's pretty arrogant of you. Saying that it's fine to hurt other people as long as it serves your own purpose? No kidding. That's very selfish. That makes you no different than them. I think that is... So, that's the witch way, huh? You witches are a scary lot. Hey, no, we're not! Yeah, 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 sure. You little kitty witches aren't. There <laughs> Whatever. you go again! All of you, shut up! If they take that hill away from me, I'll be left without anywhere else to go! Wait a second. If that's what this whole thing is about, you should come with us. Huh? He's right. It could get lonely being uprooted from the place you've always known, but Yokai Academy has a lot to offer a girl like you. So what do you say? Oh, wait. Let's get her to join the newspaper club, too. Good call, Luca. Uh, so now we'll have two witches? That's right, we will. 
Oh, come on, knock it off, you guys. Do you want me to cool their heads off? Uh, no, 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 don't. You'll end up freezing everyone solid. It's blowing through my heart. It holds the warmth of your embrace. The love and kindness of your smile. Your ladyship, I just... Where did Ruby go? Ruby. <laughs> you can eat. <laughs> Ruby! Go back. No one's allowed on this hill. No matter who you are. Leave or perish. Stop it! Ruby, there's got to be another way here! Please listen to her! If we work together, we'll figure it out! I've heard enough! Uh. Oh, holy crap! It turned out a whole bunch of plant monsters were being cultivated under this sunflower field! <laughs> what you see before you are her ladyship's brood, a loyal army of plant soldiers bred to defend Witch Hill. Go! No, get out of here, Scooty! Yeah. Stay back! It's way too dangerous! But you could eat, I... Stop it! You're just a kitty witch, so who do you think you're impressing? Kurumu, you... If they hurt you, then they'll have to answer to me. But Misery, I... I, I can find you now! Don't worry! We'll protect you! They won't touch you, Scooter! No, they won't! Turn them into a blood offer. Ruby, please stop this insanity! <laughs> Get those things off her right now! Damn it. I know I'm up against monsters, but still, here I am all tied up with Locust cries for help ringing in my ears, and I can't do a thing about it. Please, Mocha, tell me what to do. Anything I can do to help. Something even a human like me can do. That's it! Doing too much like always. Still, you saved my ass. Hey, look out! I'll take blood away. 
over peace. Then this episode showdown was over in a mirror! Ruby! Ruby! Please stop all of this! No, I can't. I'm gonna defend Witch Hill. Because it's my wish. Also, because her ladyship demands it! Snot-nosed brat. You're not too shabby yourself. I'm amazed that you could move so well having no one of those two heavy honkers around. Good point. You know, for a second there, I was actually envious of your booblets. Huh. We'll finish this later, my big titty rival. You certainly don't have to tell me. Because right now we've got bigger fish to fry, don't we? <laughs> These roots are pulling the strings that are driving those monsters. And worse, Ruby too. What's this? It's you. You're the one. Her ladyship, aren't you? If so, I have a request. Ruby, let her make her own choices. Set her free. Until we kill all of them. Come here to us and what we can do. These goons are like nothing. Oh, come on. You call this a nothing? We're just staying positive. There's still so many of them left. Hey, everyone, look up there. Mocha! Mocha! Ruby, don't! Look, we've had enough. We'll leave this hill right now and never come back again. You'll never hear from us, we promise. You might as well save your breath. Just take a look at her. There's no getting through to her in that state. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Anyone. Nobody will care anymore. Shut up! 
Everything I'm doing is for her ladyship. I do this. Just who are you kidding? I went to see her ladyship and there's no one there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Her ladyship is inside the house. No, look. I went inside the house just now to see her and she's dead. She's been dead this whole time. I can't be. No. Ruby. Ruby. Your ladyship? I'm afraid that I, I may have acted very foolishly. Don't you see? All the things that I set out to do were no different than the humans. Your ladyship? Please forgive me. I'm about to leave you all by yourself again. But remember, Ruby, I will always be by your side. No matter what happens. Forever. Ruby, please. Deep down, you must know it's true. Don't you see? Her ladyship's no longer with us, but you don't want to admit it. You don't want to accept it, do you? And all those feelings inside you created a false image of her ladyship. And it's been haunting you ever since. Hasn't it, Ruby? No. No. No! No! What's your favorite thing in the world? My favorite thing? Well, let me think. Hmm. Ooh, ice cream! <laughs> That's not all! <laughs> There's more? Oh, yeah. I like it here in Witch Hill. And I like your ladyship. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> guess what? I love you! We just 
couldn't do anything else, could we? If only I would have been a little bit stronger. Skuni, what happened wasn't your fault. Now, now, now. I'm sorry I kept you waiting so long, guys. But look here. Look at all the yummy fish I managed to get. It's time to go back already. Sorry I'm late, everyone. I know that voice. Gee, it's you. you. Whoa, you guys. What's up with the deer in the headlights look? Your club prez just miraculously freed himself from summer school hell, so try acting excited, will you? What the hell's with you guys? It's Ruby! What, you guys know her or something? Yeah. Hmm. So there's a story behind her. Well, I found her floating in the ocean. Just floating along like something was keeping her safe from harm. Oh, wow. Keeping her safe, huh? This is the wrong road. Well, let's head back. Can you believe this? It's the most beautiful hill I've ever seen. This sunflower field is special. It's a place that witches on this hill have treasured for many generations. Well, then I'll take real good care of it. I swear I'll watch over it forever and ever. <laughs> Shall we go back to the house now? Back to our little home? Yeah! Our first edition of the Yokai Gazette since summer break and it is shaping up nicely, huh? It sure is! I think the real highlight is the feature article on the latest fashions in the human world. The girls on campus will love it! <laughs> Uh-huh, of course they will, and that's because I wrote it. Can I see that? A dark tan and blue socks. I see. Nice job on the article, Kudumu. Yeah. <laughs> that getup went out of style years ago. Wait. Wow, guys. Look at all the content we have. I'm really impressed with this latest issue. Mm. Yeah. So am I. Hey, Skinner. <laughs> Uh, hi, Misure. Come on, at this point we know each other well enough, Skune. So from now on, why don't you just refer to me as your little snow buddy? Uh, huh? If you're done, we still have tons of copies to print up, so let's get moving, you guys! Wow, you're really worked up about this. Of course I am! It's because it was put together by me and Skune, right? Now that's not quite true, Kurumu. You know it was a group effort. No kidding! <laughs> you know, at first I thought you guys were just a clique and a weird one at that, but then... Then what? Then I thought this newspaper club wasn't half bad. <laughs> Alright guys, you still got a little time before class starts, so let's hand these out. Yeah! You betcha! Claire, get your copy here! It's the debut issue of Yokai Square, folks! It's super exciting and filled with lots of informative articles! And our first issue has a special feature on the human world! Awesome! It's printed in color, too! Yeah, and it's got swimsuit photos! Cool! The latest fashions from the human world! So tulip heart patterns and bell bottoms are all the rage, huh? Just what the hell are they all reading? It looks like it said Yokai Square. Hey, what's the big idea? Who gave you guys permission to start handing out newspapers? Huh? What do you mean, permission? And this rag? <coughs> this Yokai Square or whatever it is? It's not even a legitimate paper, unlike the Yokai Gazette put out by the newspaper club. Yes, it is. <laughs> Who are you? Me? I'm Kato. The super newspaper club president. What the hell is that? There's already a newspaper club. We've gotten permission from the school, and we're an officially recognized club. I don't understand. Well, your little newspaper was just so unbelievably boring. So we decided to create our own newspaper, one that'll make everyone forget about you. Like hell it will, Big Mouth! Calm down, calm down Kurumu. If you don't believe me, then try competing against us, okay? <laughs> That's what we'll do! Come on, we can't let them beat us. I agree. We've got our latest and greatest issue, so let's start handing it out. The new issue.
issue of the Yokai Gazette's hot off the presses. Check it out! It's got a big feature on the human world! It's got the latest in human fashion! If you don't read it, I'll freeze you some. This one's got a story on the human world, too? It's got a been there, done that feel to it, don't you think? There aren't any swimsuit photos. It's just a bunch of tired old articles. How lame. Not that work. Down the drain. But it's not our fault. We never thought that we'd have a rival to contend with. What the hell is a super newspaper club? Oh, I'm sorry. I only learned about those guys myself yesterday. Still, how did they manage to get approval? Will the school really allow two different newspaper clubs to exist? No, they won't. Huh? You see... It turns out the plan is to keep the club that's most popular and scrap the one that's not. What? No way! But you can't be serious! Then fine. Bring it on. Huh? What do you mean? It's between us and the newspaper club and those upstarts in the super newspaper club. This is about who's more popular. So let's show those jerks who's number one! Wait, just hold on a second. He's right. We've got to talk to Gein before we can do anything. He is our club president, after all. Who gives a crap what that perv thinks? I bet you anything. He's off with a camera right now, peeping on girls again. <laughs> She sure nailed that one, Lee. Whoa! Oh, man. That was just cold. What a bummer. It's them. to the Yokai Gazette, well then, you'll receive homemade cookies from yours truly. Oh yeah, I want some cookies. Hot outfits and cookies. So tell us guys, which campus newspaper do you think is the most interesting? The Yokai Gazette, of course. <laughs> yeah, we so won. <laughs> Come get your Yokai Square. If you subscribe right now, you'll get these exclusive and oh so sexy snapshots of us. They're free for subscribers. Just don't use them for any funny purposes, okay? They're in bikinis! And smoking hot! Oh man, where do I sign up? I want to subscribe! Can they even do that? Regardless if they can or can't wear revealing outfits, they are. But you guys are sexy too! It's sad you don't see this, please. Well, let's hear it, guys. Which campus newspaper do you think is the most interesting? The Yokai Square, of course! We can't let them get away with this, you could We need some sexier outfits! Uh, you're so cute. I'd take you any day over those bucks of mobile bikini girls, because a sweet little flat-chested girl like you is what makes me feel all tingly inside. <laughs> hey! You could eat that! Hold on! Wait! <laughs> We've almost beaten them. Hey, you could eat. Don't cry. Now, let's get back to passing out papers. Huh? You mean we're still gonna keep at it? Yeah, of course we are. We can't let those broads beat us. We'll be in skimpy bikinis too, but ours will be even skimpier than theirs. I'd like to see that, but no. I'm sorry, but we didn't feel good about this, so we spoke to Gein. He's club captain. This is one we're gonna have to lose. Nothing good can come from taking these guys on. Are you nuts? Those talentless twits! All they do is wear skimpy bikinis and flaunt themselves! You were gonna do the exact same thing, so isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? I'm more worried about who's behind them. And that would be the security committee. 
The security? Committee, huh? Who or what is that? <laughs> well, in a nutshell, they're basically a more violent version of a disciplinary committee. And they're all about fighting first and asking questions later. They claim that they're just keeping the peace and taking the bad guys down on campus. Student police would be a better name for them. But if those guys are student police, then why... But we haven't done anything wrong, so why asking? Because of the same thing that always happens. As soon as they got a taste of power, the so-called security committee started getting more and more corrupt. And the committee is just a sham now, and they use force to get whatever they want. They're nothing but a bunch of thugs extorting cash from other students. It's hard to believe a group as criminal as that would be allowed to exist on campus. As for why they're targeting us, the Yokai Gazette is becoming more and more popular, so I'm guessing our little paper has become a thorn in their side. Wait just a second. If there's a gang like that at this school, then isn't it our duty as a newspaper club to expose what they're doing? Yeah, you hit the nail right on the head, Skunang! Exactly! That's it! All we need to do is keep hammering away at them with article after article! Hmm. Dean, what is it? We're not going to debate this nonsense anymore. All these newspapers are going in the incinerator, and that's the end of it. Got it? No, wait! But Dean, we worked so hard on it. You heard what I said. But it doesn't make any sense! Do what I told you. It's an official club decision. Still a few more boxes inside. I'll go get them. Need any help, Mocha? Don't worry, Skune. I'll give her a hand. This sucks because we worked really hard on these. Now mizade has gone off pouting to who knows where. And as far as the newspaper club goes, what's gonna happen to us? Hey, Skune. Huh? Let's just take these papers and go hand them out right now. You heard what Dean said. He's club president, so we just can't... Who cares? Kurumo? These newspapers. You don't realize how precious they are to me, Skune. It's because I made them with you. There's something that you and I created together. <laughs> so then, the thought of having to burn what we created is just too much. I can't do it! <laughs> oh, mistress! These two are still planning on handing out their crappy newspaper to everyone! Unleash your divine wrath upon them! It's you guys again! Who's this mistress? <laughs> These papers weigh so little. I guess they really are light on content. Good job, girls. Thanks for keeping an eye on them. We live to serve you, mistress. What the hell? Why'd you have them watching us? Yes, please tell us. And why are you trying to run our newspaper club into the ground? You two are full of questions. Well, I guess Ginye Morioka hasn't told you about it, has he? Told us about what? It doesn't matter. From this moment forward, your little club and its paper are done. No, they're not! Those are our papers! Give them back right now! <laughs> What did you just say? Who exactly do you think you're talking to here, you peon? <gasps> See? I knew your newspaper was nothing but page after page of trash. And look how well trash burned. Those are our papers! Not anymore! <gasps> They're gonna burn! Those are our mistress's orders! No! Don't you're worry, Kuduma! I'll get them out! Oh, God, what the hell? <laughs> That's a ginormous spider monster from Japanese folklore who can also take the form of a woman. <laughs> That's your true identity, huh? I know who you serve. You're wearing their uniform! Well, well. It seems the one thing you are good at is digging up information, Miss Reporter. What is that thing? The security committee's armband and our badge of pride. We preserve order and defend justice at this school. Your order and justice is all BS! You guys are low lives and thugs! <laughs> you really 
they need an attitude adjustment. <laughs> If you're wondering who these girls are, they were members of former clubs who defied the security committee. I used to be a member of the Classic Literature Club. I was in the Japanese Tea Ceremony Club. As for me, I was a member of the Yaoi Manga Club. <laughs> yes, they were. But once I injected them with my venom, those stubborn girls became my faithful servants. We live to serve, mistress. We love you, our beautiful mistress. And your wishes are commands. And all it's going to take to change that bad attitude of yours is just a tiny bit of my venom. No, stay away from me! I'd rather die than serve an eight-legged skank like you! Oh, I love to trap prey in my web. All of you struggle and scream, but there's no escape. <laughs> hey, Spider-Woman, that's what you look like in your monster form? It's pretty gross. Uh what? Ice? These are they! Hey, come on. Didn't I tell you to start calling me your little snow bunny? Oh. <laughs> Armature Ogumo, something to bite you, what it's a fight you'll get! <laughs> Actually, I'm not the one that you'll be fighting. Oh. Hey, are you guys okay? Mocha! I'll use my magic to help give you a step up! seal over her breast is removed. Mocha's innocent self vanishes, and her inner vampire awakens. Oh. Is that an S-Class super monster? Would you hurry up and get me down from here? No, I won't. What? If you want to save yourself from becoming one of those spiders' minions, then you're gonna have to find a way out of there on your own. Fine! I will! Maybe if I just pull harder... Uh -uh. Uh, no, you don't! Hold on to her tight! I'm not letting you go! Ah! I didn't need you after all. You cost me my prey, vampire! You think you're hot shit with that power, but compared to Kuyo, the president of the security committee, your monster strength is just a joke! And? And I'll prove just how weak you really are! Uh, uh, oh, will you now? Wind, wind the uh, little thread. Oh, wait, what are you doing? The little no. Uh, can't we talk about this? Stop it! Wind, oh, wind the little thread. If you let me go, wind, I won't report this the to the security thread. committee. I reel promise. In, I won't tell them a thing. What do you say? Piss off. Oh! Ah! Yes, for me. Since you four like webs so much, you can spend the rest of your days wrapped in them. Uh, sure. That'll be super. Right? Good. This episode's five took 117 seconds. Wait! I've made a decision. I know it means going against what Gein wants us to do. As the newspaper club, it's our duty. We have to expose the security committee. Tsukune. You guys don't have to do this, but I am. Me too. I'm behind you 100%, Tsukune. You can count on me as well! You can add me to that <gasps> list too. The newspaper club's main weapon is the power of the press, so let's show these creeps what we've got.
Kato was defeated? Yes, sir. And in a mere 117 seconds. I suppose it's only to be expected. Vampires are S-class monsters. Still, that was foolish, newspaper club. It appears that you've forgotten all the lessons we taught you last year. Then there's you. Skuni Aono, sir? Him? It looks like we're in for the best show we've seen in some time. <laughs> are getting away with whatever they want. At this point, what we really lack is some direct testimony from the victims themselves. That's the thing! We keep trying to get answers, but no one wants to respond to our question! Yeah, it's like everybody's terrified of retribution. But we can't run with what we have now. We don't have enough for a solid article yet. What we need is an informant. But who? I think I found... <laughs> uh, Misere, when did you get it here? Call me your snow bunny. Oh, I love that. Wait, you said you found some. Found what? I found some informants. <gasps> I found a club that can never pay. A club that looked like it could go under at any minute. So I reached out to them. Hey, who's that girl over there, huh? Beats me, but she looks pretty hot. Man, for some reason I feel a really weird chill in here. Yo, guys, that girl's still looking at us, isn't she? I don't even have to check. I can tell she is by this chill. Hey. <laughs> I need you to tell me what you know about the security committee. <laughs> well, what do you mean? We don't know nothing about those dudes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know no dudes. I hope that's true. Because if you three are lying to me, I swear I'll stalk you your whole life. And then I'll freeze you solid. <laughs> Oh, oh, man, this trick is scary as hell! No phrases, we're begging you! That's basically the long and short of it. <laughs> okay, then. Great job, Mizanay! Way to go! Those creeps may think it's fine when they're doing this stalking, but it seems they don't like it so much when the shoe's on the other foot, huh? Uh, excuse us, sorry for interrupting you. Could we maybe borrow your ear for a moment? <laughs> We're really busy here. What do you people want? We're looking for the fan club coalition guys. You wouldn't happen to know where they are, would you? Huh. If you want to find them, the security committee just came here. Hey, shut up! <laughs> uh, sorry, we don't know anything. Oh, you what did you just Come on, say? Just, what are you hiding? Just go away and leave us alone! It's got nothing to do with us! Sorry for disturbing you, sir. Well, what is it? It's about those clowns we carted off to keep their mouths shut. They had some interesting information to share. Oh, they did? Please do tell. And it's the next morning. In the biz, we call this passage of time. We... Good morning, Gune. Huh? really tired. Uh, yeah, it's the investigation. I started thinking about where we should take it from here, and I guess I couldn't get to sleep. Oh, I see. <sighs> the way things are now, we still don't have enough for an article, unless we can get some new evidence. Hey, Tsukune? Yeah? What is it, Mocha? You know, compared to how you were when you first started school here, somehow I feel like you're a lot manlier than you used to be. Oh, yeah? <sighs> Just that I really think I uh, you're so wonderful. So what'll it be this time, Mocha? You want the usual? Oh yes, please. That sounds lovely. Never, never, never. Hey, what the hell was that for? Twitter We're gonna be busy as hell all day long, so don't you go sucking him dry, you hear me? Hey, pull it together! Let's keep this investigation going, you guys! Good plan. I'll try and find more people I can stalk into submission. Yes, you're right. Just thinking about it gets us nowhere. Let's take action. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Mm -hmm. Who will it be? Who will I see? Taking off their clothes, taking off their... Huh? It's 
hell. And so, what that means is, the most important adjective we encounter in this particular text is the word terrifying. These adjectives are... Oh no, it's them. What are they doing here? Um, we're in the middle of class right now. What can I do for you? There's no need to worry. This won't take but a moment. Kune Aono, right? Uh, yes. As of right now, you are under suspicion of being a human. He's a human? Wait, that can't be. Because somehow he knows what Kune's monster is. Therefore, you will be undergoing a security committee inquest. Hey, now, hold on just a minute. Come on, a human couldn't even be at this school in the first place. Stop making these wild accusations. Silence. <laughs> this monster energy. Depending on the circumstances, you three are just as guilty. Moka Akashia, Kurumu Korono, Mizure Shirayuki. Gather your things. You're coming too. Just as guilty? Oh no. How do you find out? This can't be. But, Skune. Hey, are you okay? Everything's gonna be fine, Skune. I know you're not some human. And don't worry. It's exactly what I'm gonna tell them. What's going on? Where are they taking her? Oh, man. Uh, okay, now listen up, everybody. Please just calm down. Check it out. Whoa. Is that guy the human? Yeah. I think his name is Skune Aono. And the other newspaper club members? That would be 10th grader Yukari Sendo and 11th grader Ginye Morioka, sir. Interesting. Ginye Morioka. It's been quite some time since I've seen that nuisance. Shall I have him arrested, sir? Leave him be. As long as he hasn't forgotten about last year, I doubt he will raise a hand again. If I'm gonna save everybody, then this is my only chance. Hey! Stay back! Dean, what are you doing? There's way too many of them. What good can you do by yourself, huh? Stop it! I have to go and help them! Please, if I don't go see them right now, they'll be... We gotta hold back for now, okay? I want to know where you dragged her off to. No need to worry about her. She's not being harmed in any way. <sighs> not yet. <laughs> Calm down. They're in custody like everybody else. They're probably being questioned as we speak. Hold on, what? Everybody else who? Yep, there's no doubt about it. That dude smelled like a human, all right. I mean, I sit in the seat right across from him. That guy has always smelled weird, and I thought so from the first time I laid eyes on him. Skune? Well, as far as athletes go, he's pretty much the worst I've ever seen. And I have to admit, he's such a weakling, it would make sense if he's a human. Well, he definitely has a human-like scent, and everybody knows about it. Mocha is always kissing him on the neck, but the real... That guy reeks. Yes. I thought he was sort of weird sometimes. And he smells awful! You know, now that you mention it, he never once tried to change into his monster form to save Mocha and his friends, even when they were in serious danger. Mr. Aldo? Oh, yes, he had a really delicious scent, all right. He smelled exactly like a human being. The writing is on the wall. No matter whose testimony we listen to, they all lend support to the assertion that you're human. Including all of the people you call your friends. What's this? Are you really going to sit there and tell me you don't believe that your friend is a human? Of course I don't believe it! Tell me, what makes you so certain? Uh, well, for one thing, a human being can never even get into Yokai Academy. Very well. Then surely you must know what kind of monster he is, correct? No, I don't. You've never seen it then? Not once, right? Well, 
It's just... But that's the school rule. We're not supposed to reveal our monster identities without a good reason. Yes, you're certainly right about that. Well, then it just means that Skune's been really good about obeying the rules. Right, I suppose that's one possibility. But not turning into your monster form even after your good friends are in serious trouble? Come on, do you really buy that? Just what are you trying to say? Well, I'm saying that your friend is a cowardly, spineless, lily-livered excuse for a man. He's not. Skune's not a... We know everything. Oh, yes, we know all about how you've been sucking his blood. Vampires, they love human blood, don't they? Therefore, logic dictates he's a human. No, you're wrong! I suck his blood because... because it's delicious! It's not because he's human or anything. Hmm. That's not all. I've done my homework. Water is a vampire's weakness. That's right. That's exactly what's in this glass. Pure water. No, please. Mocha! If you continue with this farce, all of your friends are going to wind up like those poor fellows over there. Wait, hold on. What poor fellows? <laughs> These three have been very cooperative. They told me all about that little fight they had with you. Skune Aono was so weak, it was like fighting a human. We kept beating on him and beating on him, but he never once tried to break his transformation. It's time to fess up. Just tell us the truth. Unless you want Mocha to end up like those three. <laughs> Mocha, no! <laughs> Just behind this shrine, we've got ourselves a nice little bomb. If the investigation drags on much longer, Mocha might need to cool off. <laughs> Leave her alone! Uh, filthy bastards! You let her uh. What's wrong? Now's your chance to show me your true form. Go right ahead, Skune. Everyone is dying to see. Getting free from the men now holding you down should be no problem for you once you've transformed. <laughs> In fact, you don't even need to go that far. The simple act of changing to your monster form will clear the charge of being human, and all your beloved friends can be set free at once. <laughs> What's wrong? Why won't you change? <laughs> right, because you actually are a human. <laughs> well, Mocha, this is it. I guess this is goodbye then. Yes, you're right. I am a human, just like you said. Now let her go. <laughs> <laughs> This shrine can be deceiving. Inside are many layers of misdirection and illusion. We can present the appearance of separate rooms or bring everyone together into one big hall if we want. You tricked me. Oh, Skune, whatever they threatened to do to me, it shouldn't have made any difference. Why'd you do that? Why'd you tell them the truth? Wait, what? We came this far. You and I have been getting by just fine the entire time. So why now, when you... Ah! You knew all along. You lied to us. Take it easy, Kurumu. This isn't Mocha's fault. Leave me alone! But family feud, eh? Well, you have been lying to them about who you really are from the start. Guess you're getting yours, huh? Guys, please. I swear I never meant to... Go on, toss them out. Except for Mocha. She's to remain here in custody. Wait, no! Take her away and lock her up in this special cell. Hey, wait, I... I thought you were gonna let her go! She knew your true identity all along and kept it a secret. She's obviously guilty as well. No, you can't. Mocha, no! Please don't! Let me go! Skune! No! Mocha, no! Mocha, no! <laughs> 
Now then, members of the Security Committee, in the name of order and for the sake of justice, I call for the judgment of Tsukune Aono. Guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. He's guilty. Guilty as guilty. He's guilty. He's guilty. 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 Tsukune Aono, this court finds you guilty. <laughs> the punishment is death. <laughs> Damn it! I tried to warn you guys. I told you not to go messing with them. <laughs> Kurumu! Midere! I can't believe you guys got out of there all right. Oh, I'm so happy. Hey, where is Skune and Mocha? You think they're saying the truth? What? Uh, speak up. I, I didn't hear. It's Skune. It turns out he is a human. No, you're joking, right? It's true. <laughs> Skune admitted it. He said so himself. No way, it can't be. It's gotta be a lie! The thought that Skune is some human is just wrong! And as for Mocha, it looks like she knew about it the entire time. <laughs> At least now we know why she liked Skune's blood so much. This explains it. Well, I guess it does make sense. He was pretty bumbling for a monster. I always thought something was up. Come to think of it, when we went on that trip to the human world, he did seem very excited to be there. To tell you the truth? I feel like a total jackass. <gasps> Mizore, wait! I think that's the right move. Guess I'll do the same. Don't expect to see me around the club. As for you, either make amends with the committee or hide out till the heat dies down. Figure out a way to play it. Figure out how to play it? Hey, Yukari. What do you really think about human beings? Not much, I guess. Back when I was a little kid, we all lived in this tiny border village located in a valley deep inside the mountain. Growing up, I was always told that humans were terrifying. We witches truly did go through hell. Over the years, my people were persecuted in witch trials. The humans hunted us like animals. Yeah, I can relate. I was always told that human men were miserable, unworthy creatures whose sole purpose in life was to be slaves for succubi. Yeah, but... Attention, students! <laughs> From this moment, we shall proceed with the public execution of Tsukune Aono, the human who infiltrated our school. This individual, pursuant to questioning by our security committee, confessed that he was in fact a human in our midst. Wherefore, it is now our duty to carry out his public execution. Oh, gross. So he's really a human, huh? Oh, man, get a whiff. That guy smells terrible. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, he stinks like one. Can't even look at him. Yeah, but even so. I mean, I hate humans as much as the next guy, but don't you think death's a bit much? I think so. Yeah. To tell you the truth, back when I was going to that human school, I made plenty of friends there. Me too. This whole thing is going too far. Uh, uh, oh, what the... The execution will take place at exactly 4.44 p.m. Students, one and all, remember this human's final hour. Remember how he met his doom. Damn the human to hell! Skune kid, he's a student from your class, isn't he, Miss Nekanome? Oh, yes. But the death penalty? Come on, that's taking it way too far! And besides, this is supposed to be Yokai Academy, isn't it? I thought the whole purpose of this school was to promote a secret and peaceful coexistence with humans! Yes, well, that's one thing, and this is another. Since ancient times, human beings have been our mortal enemies. If the security committee hadn't taken action, I certainly would have. We can't just sit here! I have to go down there and stop them! Excuse me, Miss Nekonome? Yes, Miss Mimiko? The director said he wants to see you. What? Did he say what for? Stop. Now, calm down. He said it was urgent business. So we better get a move on. They're going to kill him! We've got to rescue him. What do you think we should do? Those idiots. Skune. And Mocha, they're both such idiots. <laughs> Damn it! Both of them are such idiots! Kurumu, are you okay? If I don't do something quick, then they're gonna... 
That's right. If I can break this. Come on, please. school for monsters should I have left a long time ago when I had the chance I could have tried to go to a normal school and made some normal friends who are human like me but then if I'd done that I never would have met Mocha or any of the others for that matter <laughs> Are you so afraid to die that you're cracking up? Promise me something. And what's that? That after you're done killing me, you promise not to hurt anyone else in the newspaper club. For a wretched human, that's a remarkably noble sentiment, my friend. Very well. Never let it be said that I'm not without mercy. So, you mean you Yes. You needn't worry about your friends in the newspaper club suffering at all. Their deaths will be quick and painless. Please, I'm begging you. We can all meet on the other side and make a newspaper no one will read. <laughs> Was here. This is where you saved my life, Tsune. Now it's your turn to do the saving. Who are you? Kurumu, please. We have to do something. Listen, I didn't get the chance to finish saying this last time. But I do have an opinion. I don't think it matters if you're a monster or a human, just if you're good or bad. And I say this from personal experience, too. I mean, when I first came to this school, the ones who picked on me were monsters. And the first person who stood up for me was Skune, and he was a human, the very thing that I was taught to be afraid of since I was little. Yeah, I know. And I get it. Okay, well in that case... But you don't get it. I'm upset for another reason. <sighs> We're all friends. But Skune and Mocha, too. They didn't trust us enough to tell us what was going on. But Kurumu... I mean, come on. It's frustrating. If they just told us the truth, think of all the ways we could be helping them out right now.
Tell me, you don't think you're all alone in this, do you? A crew? Stand by. It's been a while. Ruby! What took you guys so long? We got hung up knocking out the guard. Kicking his ass took a while. Yeah, that guard sure put up one heck of a fight. Wow, all you guys came too. <laughs> what are you just standing around for? Shouldn't we be off saving Skune? Kuruma. I'm still really mad at you. You shouldn't have kept Skune's secret from us. Sorry. Now's not the time for apologizing. It's a new one! You got one? How? It's a long story. However, it's gonna have to wait. Yeah! We've gotta save Skune. There'll be plenty of time for Mocha to beg our forgiveness after that. Whether you're human or a monster, there's no difference in the value of someone's life. You said that, didn't you? Sure did. It's good to see you've learned a few things. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go. Come on! <laughs> Everyone! The time has come to put this human to death! Before you hang the mortal enemy of our kind, shall we send him to meet his end? Well... <laughs> act of treason against Yokai Academy. Don't you realize that? Yes, I do, but Yokai Academy doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that does is our good friend. He's more important than this school, you creep. You're making the same mistake as last year's newspaper club. Back then, Ginye Morioka said something quite similar to me. He said he couldn't tolerate what we were doing, so he was going to expose us in print. He said the truth mattered more than this school. You said that really? A mistake. That's what allowing the newspaper club to continue was, and a grave one on my part. But I plan on correcting that with your deaths. You three, wipe them out! Our glorious leader has given us an order! Now you lawbreakers are gonna die! any good against someone of my power. Oh no! Hey, you guys! Go help Skune! Go on, hurry! You sure? Let's just say you owe us one. Okay then! You're safe now. Kuruma. Ruby. What's the big deal about her? I'm the one who just saved your butt. Oh, shut up, Kurumu, and you get away from my Skune right now. Hey, the only one who uh, needs to get You know, away I really thought I was a goner back there. Away. You let go well, now you're a goner up here. <laughs> It's a real shame the rest of the students couldn't be here to see this. But the execution was finally carried out. As for monster-human coexistence, I hope that ridiculous idea dies with that fool. Please, you can't do this, Skune! You can't die on me like this! Skune, please, life without you isn't a life at all! 
Olga. I'm glad. I really am about everything. I... I'm glad I came to this school and met everyone. I just have one last thing to ask. Protect the newspaper club. Keep them safe from Kuya. Save our friends. So the S-Class Super Monster is upset over the death of her little human pal, eh? You bastard! I'm gonna kill you! Sorry, it took us so long! We finally took out all of his minions. <laughs> what happened? I'm sorry. We were with him, but then Kuyo showed up. Move back. Skune's life light hasn't gone out yet. He's still alive, but just barely. If I hurry, he might make it. Wait, what are you gonna do to him? Give him my blood. Inject it into him. Vampires have incredible regenerating powers, so if you gave him some of your blood, that might work. Does that mean Skune's gonna be all right? His chances are slim, but at this point, it's the only option we... <laughs> Is that monster, Kuyo? So he's a... a fox demon? A demon? Yes, a powerful one. His kind were sometimes worshipped as gods in ancient times. Your powers don't disappoint, vampire. But as you'll see, they pale in comparison to my own. He's channeling his monster energy into his tail. Have a taste of my fire wheel. Oh no! Misery! Put up an ice wall! It won't be strong enough. Yeah, we'll send it around cocky like that. Won't do anything either. <laughs> gonna call you morons for doing that, but honestly, there's a bigger one here. That would be me. But the thought of all my clubmates getting killed again, well, that was just too much. Gain! He shielded us from the blast. I guess he can really act like a leader when he wants to, huh? Well, yeah, I guess so. But what's the point if he just winds up dead? Morioka, of all the people to step in, oh well. He saved me the trouble of killing him later. You bastard! Don't worry, Mocha. You can count on us to hold him off! Do your thing and save Skune. He could kill you all. Don't you think we already know that? I'm sorry. Tell me, who wants to die next? Everyone listen. We can't let him step one foot past this point. Gotcha. So how do we do that? By working together as a unified team. We will. Skune's life is on the line here, so we'll use everything we've got to protect him. Skune, I give you my blood. Take it and live. Skune. Skune. Damn. I guess it's still not enough. Monsters and humans are enemies and always will be! Oh, no. Yuki, I need you to stay focused here! Yeah, great! You're just a close-minded bigot! Monsters and humans can be friends if they want! And we're living proof of that fact! Not for long! Ready? Let's do it. Our unified magic... And the Dark Ring of Containment! You think you can hurt me with a bunch of paper cards? No, but we can trap you in a ring of spirit birds. You think you can break free of that? You're in for a very big surprise. 
The only one who'll be surprised here is you, witch. So much for your trap. It didn't work. Oh, yeah. Changing back into human form, it seems his monster energies transformed him into another one altogether. You should all feel quite flattered. Not many foes are ever fortunate enough to see me in my ultimate form. Now die! What the hell is happening up there? I don't know, but that felt like an earthquake. Hey, get the line moving up there, would you? It's jammed to the top, you dumbass. I really hope my kids are all right. Yeah! Oh, someone's stepping on my tail. Please get off of it. She used the last of her strength to build an ice wall to protect all of you. And now, you're defenseless. Wrong. They've still got me. And I'm gonna kick your ass from here to Kingdom Come. Mocha Akashia. I see that your efforts to revive the human have been a complete and utter waste of time. Killing a vampire will boost my reputation, though. So come and get me. Once it's known I destroyed an S-Class monster, my position of power on campus will be stronger than ever, and I'll have you to thank for it. Wait a minute. What happened with Skune? There's nothing more I can do for him at this point. You're supposed to be strong. Is that all you've got? This is child's play. I guess I gave Scooby too much of my blood. Aha! I see. You shared your blood with your pathetic human friend, and look what it did to you. It made you weak. No. Humans are petty-minded creatures. They're selfish and lazy. They betray. They lie, cheat, and steal. And they hurt other living things without a second thought. Fascinizing with that human scum, you deserve to die as well! You're going to burn till there's nothing left. And not just you, but your dead human pet too. Sweet time waking up, didn't you? <laughs> you sleepyhead. No, he lives. That's impossible. I saw what my flame did to him. His body was burnt to a crisp. Thank goodness they're both alive. All right. Her vampire blood really did the trick. What an outrage. There's no way of letting you two get away with this. We should run. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Give me a break! I preserve order and protect the peace at this academy! You're pathetic! Do you really think you can take me out with your ridiculous- Their rights came with the red Where the hell did you come from? Don't you know anything about werewolves? We are quite famous for our speed. You've been swallowed up by your own vile ambition, and both you and your security committee goons are out of control. Therefore, you've lost the right to preach about preserving order and protecting the peace. Shut up! So, Kyo, I think it's time you learned your place!
Oh, man. What happened up here? What's that huge hole? Hey, look. The holy crap. Who you? I can't believe it. Somebody kicked his Who ass. did it? Yeah. Oh, oh, well, you see, it was... Uh, Okay. okay, hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Oh, you're okay. Uh, yes, ma'am, we are. I'm so glad to hear it, and you certainly showed that Kuyo a thing or two, didn't you? <laughs> I'm not one to condone violence, but it appears that you giving Kuyo a thrashing has cleared your name, wouldn't you agree? Well, actually, the one who beat him up was... Cleared my name? Of course it did. A human couldn't have beaten Kuyo up. Only a monster could We're all really could've. sorry, Skune. I'm so embarrassed that we suspected you of being a human. Yeah, you're awesome. And you gave Kuyu a much-deserved ass-kicking. I guess I can finally say this now. That damn security committee made my life a living hell. Yeah, and mine too. You've made things better for all of us, Kuyu. Hey, guys, what do you say we hoist our new school hero in the air? Yeah! Whoa, hold on a second, guys. Wait, hang on. Hey, guys, think you could come help me before you start doing that? This episode showdown took... Ah... Who cares? We... After all the commotion died down, I finally managed to talk to a very reluctant Kuruma. She told me everything about how I got wounded and was close to death, and how everyone stood together and put their lives on the line just to protect me. And yes, she even told me what Mocha did, and how she saved my life. I'm sorry. Huh? About what you did for me. You had to use up all of your power to save my life. It was worth it. Huh? And I'd do it again if it meant that you came out of everything safe and sound. Oh, Mocha. Hey, please don't cry. <laughs> you sleepyhead. What the? Hey, what's the matter with me? Why is my heart beating so fast? Oh man, don't tell me. I'm not falling for the other mocha. Am I? Stop it. When you look like that, it makes me want to say... Oh, Skune. Oh, mocha. Just now. Uh, there was nothing, I swear. You can finish it on me. Oh, finish on me. I was 